Oh god, they're gonna encourage him to- Oh, fuck. You know what kind of person Dee Dee is? Literal yes man. Literal yes man. <laughs> Pete! Come here! Sorry, never mind. I'm just... Yeah, he was Were nice. you sleeping? Yeah, nice. No. He was oh, sorry. Nice foot and tie. Tell him off, tell him off. And tie. Just he was fuck there. off, you. Just fuck off. Dee Dee, you're fucking 400 pounds, 6 foot 2, you dumb fucking bitch. And you fucking are ugly as fuck. Natter, you look ret You're fucking stupid. Hole in my head? Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it, Dee Dee. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, right. Your arthritis won't let you. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Where's Choke on a fucking falafel. Where fish Where's, Where's fish, fish stick? Now? Where's fish stick? Bitch! More man than you'll ever Bitch. be. In a dress and everything. Bitch. He'll wear eyelashes and be more of a man than you. Poppers. Poppers. <laughs> Ghetto got no whore. You probably fuck your roommate on the couch. That's why. You fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate and gave me gonorrhea, and now you're giving it to Dee Dee. You're homophobic. That's really sad. You look like a fucking giraffe. On crack with AIDS. <laughs> you look like a camel, fucking giraffe camel with AIDS. Okay? You fucking silkworm fruit fly. You just want someone to say yes to every single when fucking- you know how to wash this first? <laughs> when you know how to wash this first? Yeah, they're full of your dirty- <laughs> <laughs> They're full of your dirty cum, gone oh cum, what do you expect? If. If. <laughs> Why do you still have my dirty if. underwear? <laughs> if. It's you full of, It's full of your dirty cum that you don't even fucking wash your dick before you fuck me. So <laughs> Vomit cleanup on aisle nine. Vomit cleanup on aisle nine. He's ready for you. He has a sexy dress for you. Yeah, yeah, and your husband is ready beside you. Your husband is ready beside you. You see this? Your husband is you ready this? beside you. I'm not trans shaming. You gave me the green, you fucking cheating piece of shit. You cheated with Dee Dee and you gave us. You cheated with Dee Dee, you have. Go to the clinic, Dee Dee, you have the clap. Go to the clinic, Dee Dee, you have the clip. You filmed to you, you fucking. Fucking brick house, ugly piece of shit, bitch. Dee Dee, go to the clinic. Go to the clinic. <laughs> go to the clinic, you fucking brown nosing bitch. Ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. What do you have now? So the clinic called me back. <laughs> It's something I never heard of. Strep B. What is Strep B? It was like from another different swab or something. So they called me back and... Or they emailed me because they didn't have my thing, but... <laughs> it's not the clap. It's not It's not an STD. It's just like a bacterial thing. It's very common, yeah. I have to get an antibiotics. <laughs> Why do I tell you guys this stuff? You're right. I sound stupid. What the hell does she have merch for anyway? She 
what the fuck do these friggin' reaction channels have merch for, some of them? Hello guys! Oh my goodness. Before I get into it, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now, to anyone watching in real time, thank you. To anyone watching on playback, I appreciate you. To my mods, thank you for always being here. To my channel members and my patrons, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, nothing ever goes as planned. Nothing, quite literally nothing ever goes as planned. I'm doing my makeup, getting ready for this late stream. And then my friend contacts me and says, are you watching Chantel? I of course say no, I'm getting ready. I'm doing my makeup. Chantel was just streaming one of the most manipulative things I've ever seen her stream on this platform. No, we won't be going over it today because I already had this edited. Yes, we will absolutely be going over that in my next stream, which will probably be Saturday. The stream of, you know, trying to help Didi that she just did is pure bullshit. I've been saying this for months. Chantel is literally the type of dangerous woman who has the mentality, if I can't have him, no one will. That's what that stream was about. She is a piece of dog shit if I've ever seen one. Fuck out of here. What the fuck was that? Let me acknowledge these. Thank you so much, Harp. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're going to be covering a lot today. The same woman on Valentine's Day, she was going off on the way she was going off on, sitting there trying to tell thousands of people that this woman had an STI that she doesn't have. And guess what? Her health is none of our business. And come to find out, Chantel didn't have an STI. Oh, Chantel, when I tell you I knew what I was talking about when I say this bitch is the content gift that keeps on giving. She is. Anyways. Thank you. So, oh, thank you for the super chat. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Can we send some positivity to slightly anxious, please? Um, Stay strong, boo. And I hope you get through it really fast. Speedy recovery. Oh, it is a mess. It is a mess. Imagine, keep in mind, we're about to go over the stream. Imagine saying everything that you said about this woman just a few days ago to now saying, I will drive you to safety. I am worried. I'm worried about you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. What a joke. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. Welcome to the Go Cluster. Welcome. Oh, Afromaniac, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love that you guys love that so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I cannot believe this is what happened today. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gold Cluster. And I just want to give a heads up. Obviously, I didn't edit the stream she just got off of, but um I was not happy with it. So I will try to keep Saturday. Um, as entertaining as possible, but uh, it will be, it won't be pretty. So if that's not your mood for Saturday, I definitely understand. But Chantel is a piece of dog shit if I've ever seen one. I cannot believe this bitch. Uh, Danny Jean, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Oh my goodness. I don't know if anyone watched it, but it was, oh, it was something. Oh, it was something. It was something. Oh, anyways. So hope everyone's having a great Thursday. We're going to get into this Valentine's Day mess. And I just want to make sure I emphasize this at the top of the stream, because I know there's mixed opinions with some of the things that Nato did when it comes to his live stream and all that stuff. I do not give a fuck about bigots, bigots dragging each other online. They deserve each other. I do not give a fuck. Not in the slightest, especially when it comes to a woman who has been, who has said some of the most vile, vile shit over the internet for years now. And just the other day called him a camel, a camel. He looks like a camel on crack who has AIDS. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about a man showing her dirty ass, crusty ass, drip dried ass, panties online. I don't give a fuck. Those are some crusty pent size underwear. And that's what they are. Because she's dirty. I've been saying it for years. And I don't care if a man is showing them off online. They're both bigots. They both deserve each other. And I don't wish anything good for either of them. Just so we're clear. <laughs> Thank you, love. Oh, I cannot. I, I, you know, I just, I can't. And I understand everyone has different feelings on it. I'm just letting you know my feelings on it. I don't give a fuck. They both can drag each other. They're both clowns. Entertain us. That's what you're here to do. But let's get into the Valentine's Day live stream. I included different clips, and I know um, we'll be covering some of today, well, most of today on Saturday. But let's get into this mess. Let's get into the stream that Chantel all of a sudden, where she all of a sudden wants to save this woman. Hmm. Let's, let's take a look at what Chantel's attitude was just a few days ago. Uh, oh, Afromaniac, thank you so much for being a member for two months. Um, Chantel somehow. Mm. And thank you. Thank you for being here for two months. I really wish I could put your comments on the screen. It'll be a lot of help. Thank you, Afro. I appreciate you, boo. Welcome. Welcome to the Gold Cluster. Welcome. All right. Wait, hold on real quick. I just want to make sure I'm good because I'm seeing comments. All right, as long as I'm good, it looks good on my end. All right, let's get into this. Oh, we're upstairs now. Good for you. That's my fucking shirt! You fucking prick. Gee, Welcome, Katie. What is he fucking doing? I'm happy you could make it. Why did I wear my fucking clothes? Dee, shut the fuck up. You look like he man. You fucking cokehead. Hazel, we're not doing coke. We did it once. Okay, so. Just get over that. And if you can't get over that, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, guys. I just want to point out she's now calling Nata a cokehead, but she has such a big issue, or she's had such a big issue for all these months when it comes to, at least for me and I'm sure many others, talking about the crackhead that she is. But, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Kat, thank you so much for being a member for five months. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You're so kind. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. This is sad. Nobody liked your gross onion soup, so you have to make fun of me for views? 
with your ugly new girlfriend? And that's my grandma's blank blanket in the background, stupid. What did they ask you to bring something? Still no sheets on the bed, I see. Yeah, I just put in that clip because, unfortunately, he was correct. Uh, she chose to bring all her belongings, including her family th belongings, there. This is the same woman who's had to rescue her CPAP and her TV and all these things, but she brought such personal items to his home. It's because she never cared about them. All she cares about is Natter. That's how obsessed she is. Dude, you're like 135 pounds and you're making fun of me. He thinks it's funny. He thinks people laugh at him and now he's going to think, oh, I did something good. Well, they were pretty funny. Look at his I closet. Laugh. How many girlfriends do you think bought all those track suits? I bought th two of those, I three of those items. Well, you're stupid. Dee Dee really thinks she's fucking something, doesn't she? Can we please humble her? What is this fucking guy? Oh, of course, the pillows. This guy really thinks he's like king shit. I'm a boss bitch. That body pillow is mine. That blanket is mine. What else is mine? Like I paid for everything. Mm -hmm. Thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I would give him twenty thousand dollars. Exactly. All he, like stupid. honestly, he doesn't. People are like, did he ever buy you a single thing? He doesn't have to buy me fuck all. You know. I want to acknowledge this. Exactly, Bay. She wants Dee Dee humble. This is the same woman who has been taking L after L and looking that look like looking like the supreme clown that she is. I do not feel bad about anything that happens to Chantel. She deserves the existence that she's living in, looking like the clown that she is. What all all I can buy, I'm a boss bitch. I can buy myself anything. You're I a want clown, bitch. A big clown. Let's see your stupid fucking parody. I need to do one too. <laughs> Fuck off, Dee Dee, you stupid bitch. God, I never thought I would meet anyone with a more annoying laugh like myself. <laughs> Did you hear her? <laughs> Have we ever heard Chantel laugh that hard around Natter? No. As a matter of fact, and keep in mind, multiple things can be read at once. All parties involved are trash. All parties involved are trash. However, Natter and Didi, their dynamic is very different, which is plays a part in Chantel's jealousy. They genuinely have a good time together. They laugh together. I've seen Natter laugh in ways I've never seen him laugh with Chantel. He's trash. But he enjoys uh, Dee Dee's company. That's for damn sure. And he enjoys the company of a woman who hasn't, from what we know, shelled out thousands of dollars for his attention. That's part of the reason she's mad. This is what she's cackling about. Oh <laughs> Did he shave his head? Oh, no, he put something on his head. A con. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh God, you are gonna need those condoms, pal. The antibiotics are not finished. You better not waste them. <laughs> Dee Dee laughing because she's never seen a condom like a third grader. Chantel, <laughs> Chantel Marie, Chantel Marie of Canada said that out loud. Dee Dee's laughing because Dee Dee has never seen a condom. She was just on her second STI uh, scare. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure those words were coming out of Chantal's mouth. Okay. She fucked this man raw on the first day. After doing five lines of coke, finding a meth pipe. She continued to do it after, after... She got the clap after strange people were just sitting on his doorstep with condoms. This man has condoms and he doesn't use them with her. But go off, Shanta, go off. What do I know? What, what do I know? Fuck off, shut the hell up. What's with the goatee? Your goatee makes you look like a bargain bin porn actor. <laughs> right. That wasn't some stupid. Yeah, that was not funny. Thank you, God. Thank you so much, boo. <laughs>
I thought it was funny. Don't put my clothes on. I don't want your bag rod on my fucking leg. <laughs> this chat loves the goatee. <laughs> He's so embarrassing. It is embarrassing because it's funny. He she is letting a bum, a bum drag her for filth. Because say what you want. Yeah, it could be repetitive, but so uh, I watch Chantel and it's repetitive. This is funny. It's spot on. Not only that. Depending on where he positions those pillows, it's very accurate to her body shape. She want to sit here and talk about uh, DD shape. Like, first of all, stop, stop echoing reads that you've already heard from this corner of YouTube. Second of all, Chantel want to talk about what DD shape like. Chantel, I've said this before. She is literally shaped like a deep freezer, just short and big and boxy. So she can talk about looks. Go ahead, but don't cry when people talk about your looks and it's accurate at that. I mean, it's going to be a parody channel. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah what funny. are you laughing at, Dee Dee? Your Jonka 2 wipes probably don't do the trick. Oh, no. Okay, let me see. Sorry, oh. Shut up, Chris Farley. <laughs> Shut up, Dee Dee. Carry on, Why are you so obsessed with me? Why are you so obsessed with me? They're obsessed with each other. Why are you so obsessed with me? He's so bo- You guys, you don't see this. Welcome, Luna. Gonna have a lot of food, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of dick! No, you're not. Why you go eat? Why you go eat after I cook? Because I'm a fat fucking food addict, okay? Shut up, Dee Dee. You're not part of this. She's really... I swear this woman wants to be part of this fucking shit. Do you hear her? Oh my god, these these two? I think you're right. They fucking set this up. I'm gonna throw up right now. I'm gonna fucking throw... What is that? What did he just throw? Ugh, god. Why are you such a fucking child? I hope you like babysitting Dee Dee. Do you know how to put on Treehouse channel? Because you're going to fucking need it. Tell him I want to see what's in the top drawer and what I left there. Not condom. I want to see if there's anything important. Bitch. What is that? Cream? That's not lube. Sure that's, that. that's Ben Gay. You're sure not this is Ben wedding. Gay or so on the table her beside her fucking work laptop. She probably sits in bed and farts in bed all day. <laughs> and fucking uses her Ben Gay cream. And he is coughing. Yes, Dee Dee, why are you all of a sudden having so much coughing? You have to mute, mute your microphone in the Zoom office meetings? Ew, she looks like a fucking... Like a what? You both are disgusting. And you both have VD and you need to admit it. So she kept screaming throughout this stream that they have this, they have that. And then the next day... The next day, she got her results back. And notice that apology is only to Natter. Not even to the person who technically doesn't have a platform. Because Chantel hates Dee Dee more than she's upset with Natter for the things he's actually done. Because Natter's the man sleeping with her. But, of course, Dee Dee won't get an apology. Oh, actually, let me read some of these. Thank you, the Celebrity Juice. So thank you for being a member for three months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Natter, <laughs> Natter knew exactly what he was doing. N Natter played the, well, he didn't play it the best, but Natter knew exactly what he was doing when he did it with Chantel. And here's the thing with this Roman guy, because he's a bit sus, because Roman was going around to, uh, reaction channels, different comment sections of creators who do cover uh, Chantel and Natter. Welcome. Welcome, Roman. He'll figure it out sooner than later. We'll figure out what kind of person he is sooner than later. Uh, Subway, uh, Subway Roomba, thank you for being a member for two months. He is just, you know, having a good time, dragging her for filth. I don't feel bad for neither. <laughs> I find it funny. <laughs> she doesn't, of course. Crystal J, thank you for being a member for five months. 
Yes, a hundred percent. She can't drag to save her life. Not even in the slide. Even after Chantel is just never learns from her mistakes. Because here's the thing: some people are born with it, some people aren't. So if you fail at dragging, just you know, get better, learn from your mistakes, stay on your toe. I mean, maybe that's not for her, but Chantel is just going to continue to struggle and look stupid. This is the same woman who said not too long ago, um, if he tried to be a reaction channel, he'd, um, I forgot, I'm paraphrasing here, but uh, she'd give it to him, you know, she'd drag him. She didn't use those words, but you get my point. Hasn't happened yet. And I've said this before, Natter is the most savage reaction channel that I've seen cover Chantel. One of the most savage. But this is the man she wants so bad. So, so bad. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Mandy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Oh, I still use, just so you know, let me say it real quick, and then we'll get back. Sorry, guys. I still use the Becca. Um, which one is this one? Topaz. I use Becca Topaz. And thank you. Thank you so much. And I know Becca is going, if they're not already out of business. I think they're closing down the company soon. And I'll be I'll be stocking up because I love that highlighter. Uh produce. Uh thank you for the super chat. It, and it's so crazy because Nat are used to like. Oh, what did he call it? Dirty money. Or he used to, you know, look down on reaction channels because he hated certain creators. It's as if he enjoys it. Hmm. Maybe he's seeing what some of us see in it. They're all pathetic. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Didi, you are desperate. Chantal. <laughs> Chantel. He thinks he's funny, like he's never put a fucking pillow in a clothing. Am I not glad he's out of my life? Uh, watching stuff like this helps, actually. No. You are just doing this because you know you want to make me jealous. You're going to be bored as fuck living with Debbie and Leshin. You know it. You know it. Get I didn't get a chance to... Oh, hold on. Let me let her finish that. The life. Just admit it. Whatever. You can make fun of me all you want. Are we living in the... I just wanted to uh, remind everyone, Chantel's the same person who said not too long ago. I didn't include the clip because I was just trying to get through editing. But she's the same person who said not too long ago that she would, she wants, because she was talking about her jealousy of Didi and her relationship with Natter. Uh, she would love to have a condo with Natter in another city and all these things. So this is fueled by jealousy. This is fueled by a woman who is throwing a huge tamp a temper tantrum at the age of almost 40. And she will do anything to get Natter's attention, including the live stream she did just a, what, a few minutes ago, wanting to help Didi. This is all to get Natter's attention and also destroy him and make sure no one else can have him because she is that insane. She is that unstable and she is that fucking pathetic. In Twilight Zone, like, how in the fuck is this bitch gonna laugh at my extended belly when she what she will be my shoes in the future yeah good luck dee dee doo doo <laughs> i just want to point this out um i think people forget like i know my physical how i look physically i know i have a short neck I know I don't near have no neck, but bitch, do not ever sit in that position again. You look wild. Imagine sitting there looking like Stephen Asante with no neck, dirty ass teeth, and thinking you're about to drag another bitch. She looks crazy. She looks crazy. She can't even get done up. Next time, bathe, brush your teeth, put on that wig, please. Put on that wig and sit up to drag a bitch because she looks crazy. She looks absolutely ridiculous. I'll be damned. I swear, I wish somebody would take what Chantel says personally outside of the problematic things we'll be going over. If she's coming for your looks, you better sit back and Do you see this? L let me make sure y'all see. Do you see this? Do you see this? Chantel is sitting here like Stephen Asante with no neck and thinking she's dragging somebody because she makes, I mean, a good amount of money on YouTube. This is what's dragging someone in their looks. 
I'd rather have Chantel drag me than, you know, some of the beautiful people that are in my chat right now. So, yes, yeah, Chantel, keep dragging us. Keep dragging everybody. You look crazy, bitch. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look. <laughs> Look at his clothes. You are. I'm hot. So take off your clothes and get Dee Dee to lick your vinegary ball sack like you do. Because she was sitting there uh, sucking on his. Vin Chantel will suck on anything. Chantel will do anything for this man. And she thinks Dee Dee will do the same. She thinks other women are just as desperate. And even if they are hooking up, I'm sure, I'm sure based on what we've seen, he has a lot more respect because he knows Chantel is desperate. He knows Chantel will lick any part of him, including his green dick. And all he had to do is wipe it off beforehand. Not everyone is you, Chantel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chantal does actually look like the mutant and Express. Oh, God. The fact that all of these are so accurate. And if you want to talk about somebody's looks, talk about somebody's looks. But just know it goes both ways. And it will be very accurate like this. <laughs> Thank you, love. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Shut up. Send me friend requests. Yeah, because you're fucking... Message me on Messenger. I'll send you my wiener later. You don't have a problem with that. Send me the nudes. Actually, Remember I like that? boobs. I do like boobs. Mm. I want to see. I don't have Instagram. I want to see boobs. Oh. Remember when Chantel not too long ago was asking for uh, boobs from her viewers? <laughs> Remember that? So Chantel doesn't have a problem with that. And also that just reminded me when it comes to the vinegary stuff, why is she always, why is that always the description of the men? Chantel will just fuck anything. If you're telling me you keep describing, <laughs> you keep describing people with vinegar. Cause remember the, the homeless man that she claimed she slept with or did whatever with, she described him the same. She described him the same. That just goes to show Chantel has no standards. Chantel has no standards. Because if I ever smelt a whiff of anything come off of my partner, nothing's happening. And later on the stream, we're gonna we're gonna see Chantel try to try to drag Natter and forget that she's actually dragging herself. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, La Osa, thank you so much. Thank you for being a member for six months. I appreciate you. Thank you. Love you too, boo. You look like an idiot. You slept with me for nine months and you're going to make fun of my body? You're sitting beside a fucking tank and you're going to make fun of my body? You're 145 pounds soaking wet. You're going to make fun of my body? Yeah, Fuck yourself. Cool. And here's the thing. It's not lost on me that she has a point. She's always had a point when it comes to this. A lot of people have said it. He looks like a fool making fun of her. Um when he was sleeping with her this whole time. But let's not forget, he was getting paid. He was getting paid. Nada worked for that money. He's he's a lot of things. He's a bum. He's a hustler and he ain't shit. But she knew that and she kept going with it. And for him, thousands a month is worth it. So he went for it. Like at my size, you're attracted to me as I am now, right? That's what they, they think you're not attracted to me. Mm. The other day I need to explain that to them. <laughs> Pop. I just wanted to remind everyone of that clip as she's sitting here talking about, oh, you're talking about me um, at your size and you're gonna do all this. Yes, this is the same man that she's been seeking all this approval from all this self-validation from, even when it comes to that clip, that was pathetic. That was pathetic. She sat in front of thousands to ask that stupid ass question. And what did you hear? Crickets, fucking crickets. But she want to say here and call Didi desperate. Okay, fair enough, call her desperate. But no one tops Chantel when it comes to being desperate in this whole situation. No one. Bob, I'm gonna pop off. Okay, how many people are watching him and how many people are watching me? 
This guy is in bitch drama. Like, seriously. Somebody Did fucking lose his fucking two inches from his fucking car. Because <laughs> you're hungry, fucking whore. So you know how Chantal just said, um, you know, this guy's in bitch drama and all that? Let's remember, let us let me remind you of how much of a bitch he is. And Chantel had no issue with it. And then I have another clip to play. Chantel doesn't like doesn't mind men being in drama that she's involved in, as long as they're defending her or it seems as though they're defending her. She has no problem. Natter's been a pussy ass bitch from the beginning. Go ahead. Remember this clip uh, when he caught himself trying to come at FFG another woman because he didn't like what FFG was saying, right? Go ahead. Look at her. It's, it's not your problem. You don't talk about me, bitch. No. Oh. Whatever who talk is not your problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. If somebody kill himself, you go kill himself, fucking idiot. Ooh. I don't know. It's just so stupid. What's his name? In the FFG? Yeah. <coughs> fucking fucking. And she had to mute. Oh, look at that. It's so funny. Oh my God, it's so funny. Did you see me beat up somebody? Did you see me taking drugs? Did you do what I do in my life? Like 10 times, 100 times better than fucking your life. She's having a good time. Do I like Charlie Gold? Now, this clip I brought up, again, another man entering the conversation. And here's the thing. all Anyone could have an opinion of me. I don't care. But look at how Peach tries to answer the question, do you like Charlie Gold, right? Fair enough. He doesn't like me. That's fair. I don't. I don't like him. He ain't shit. Now, look at how he tries to answer the question and look at what Chantel pushes for. Go ahead, Pete. Tell us. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about her one way or the other. There you go. Beep, she's beep. A... I'm in me mom's car. But you think she's a bitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> you tell him. You tell them. <laughs> so, Natter's a bitch, you know, in women's issues like he's inserting himself. She never had a problem. Just like she didn't have a problem with Pete's inserting himself here. Pete's actually tried to give a respectful response. But Chantel wanted to push it and make sure. You think she's a bitch, right? Tell him, tell him. Tell him she's a bitch, right? Oh, Chantel. Chantel doesn't have an issue with this. She just doesn't like it when she's a topic and Natter is dragging her. Because she was giddy when Natter was uh, attempting to drag FFG and threatening her. Remember? Do you know where she lives? Chantel was having a good old time. Again, I want to remind everyone, I feel no sympathy for Chantel. None. And I hope Natter comes online tonight and drags her for fucking filth. Bigots dragging each other. It's a form of self-care. I love watching it. It feels good. Clears my pores. Whitens my teeth. Mm, makes my lips feel even juicier just to watch it. Hm. Bigoted crackheads dragging each other left and right over the internet. Why would I give a fuck? Fuck Chantel. Fuck Natter. And all the supporting all the supporting characters, please. Giving a fuck about Chantel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, love. Not even on his best day. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I don't even mean it like uh, in some weird conceited way. It's just, it's Pete's. Absolutely not. Thank you so much, boo. Do you hear her copying everything? She's one of those annoying... You know what kind of person Dee Dee is? Literal yes man. Literal yes man. Oh, who else? <laughs> Pete! Dee Dee's a yes man. Hmm. Okay. If that's your opinion. Let's look at another yes man. Come here. Sorry, never mind. I'm just... Yeah, it was Are nice. you sleeping? Yeah, nice. No. It was nice. Oh, sorry. Nice foot and tie. Tell him off, tell him off, tell him off, tell him off. Look at him. Look at that simp taking orders. Look at that simp taking orders. Tell him, tell him. Just fuck like, off, you. Just fuck off. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Literal, like, eh. repeat everything he fucking says. This is fucking sad. You are really sad. You need somebody there all the time like that to suck your balls all fucking 24 7. Chantel's just mad that she's not there. Thank you, Little Miss Perfect. Thank you so much. Exactly.
she will leave him for dead any day. She's talking about, oh, he's a, uh, she's a yes man. That's what she does with Pete. How many times have we seen it for ourselves that Chantel will call Pete down or call him to back her up? She's mad that she doesn't have a version of Didi herself. Because if she did, she'd be happy. It's just she doesn't benefit from it in that moment. That's all it's about. Because that's why she'll call Pete. Come, come down. Oh, tell him off. Tell him off. Do all these things. How many times have you seen her push Pete to do that? And in the next breath talking about, oh, she'll protect him. Nothing will happen to Pete. How do you know, bitch? There are people in this world who will eventually pull up. Please. Hm. A mess. He needs someone to suck his balls 24-7. Yeah, and it was you for a long time. Jennifer Block. Jennifer's fucking weird. She's one of those weird, older, lonely, desperate, pathetic, jobless women, single moms who need to, like, use a picture from, like, 50 years ago to catfish. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Chantel wanted to say all this while forgetting, while forgetting a single mother raised her. Chantel will try to take any shot she can, especially when it comes to mothers. Especially when it comes to mothers. I will never, ever, ever feel bad for majority of what happens to Chantel. And I wanna repeat my stance just in case you're new to my channel. I am grateful it's that much harder for Chantel to become a mother because she would have been a terrible mother, a terrible mother. She has no concern, no regard for anything or anyone outside of herself. Chantel would be the type to neglect her child to entertain a man. Proof, show me where I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong. I'm happy it's that much harder for her. And yes, Chantel can become a mother. She can seek adoption. She can seek adoption if she wanted to, but I am crossing my fingers, my toes, and everything else, hoping she doesn't seek that because she'd be an awful mother. But I am grateful and happy that it's that much harder for her. And I said what the fuck I said. That is a popular guy. Yeah, you would know. Train wrecking got no hope. I mean... Home wrecking got no hope. Okay, I got you. There was no home. There was no home to wreck. There was no home to wreck. And you know what? Even if Didi was a hoe, shout out to her. Shout out to all the hoes out there that are actually doing that. Hopefully safely with consent. You know, protect yourself. Um, instead of sitting here at her grown ass age all these years making up these stories of her being a hoe. She made up most of the stories that she told on this damn platform because she's that fucking desperate and pathetic. She even possibly made up the story of giving that man head in the car, what, a couple of months ago? Please, get no ho. Shut your ass up. I cannot wait. Let me tell you something. Chantel more and more has been showing her ass, especially as she's making more money on this platform. And as I've pointed out, and many people have pointed out for years now, a lot of things for Chantel do not age well. So when she has this elitist attitude talking about, I'm a boss bitch, I do this, um, sh trying to shit on Dee Dee and whatever job she has, talking about trailer park this, Motel 6 this, none of it ever ages well for Chantel. And when that time comes and she's broke and sucking dick on the corner of whatever street in Gatineau, I will be sitting here smiling ear to ear Reminding everyone at every time she looked down on people who weren't making as much as she is because she wants to be a toxic train wreck online. And that brings attention, clearly. But I can't wait. And I hope those balls are salty when you have to suck them for your next meal or to pay rent or to pay for your room at the next Motel 6 that you have to stay in. Because we all know your credit ain't getting you nowhere. Anyways, <laughs> Roland, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. You're very, very kind. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she will say, oh, now, if it was pointed towards her, which is not a hope, please. She can't get dick to save her life. But, um, well, she has to pay for it. She can't. 
organically get it, you know. But uh, if it was her, it would be a huge problem. If she was a hoe, go for it. But we all know she's not. She's just a chicken head. <laughs> and it takes a man who is desperate enough to put their dick in her mouth. <laughs> and we all know that's not many people. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, this is such a turn off. How can any woman be with a man like this? For that many hours, you don't check your phone once? You don't check your phone once? No, 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 no. I'm actually like really disgusted. I'm disgusted. Like, do I have no self-respect? I don't have any self-respect. I can't think about my channel right now. I'm dying. I don't care. My heart is dying. I don't give a fuck about my channel right now. <laughs> so yeah, when she was like, what kind of woman? Yeah, that kind of woman. A desperate, pathetic one who has to pay for a man's attention. Or at this point, live stream and rage and throw out some ridiculous things for a man's attention. A man who hasn't even claimed her for more than a week over the past, what, we're going on 10 months now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no self-respect. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, boo. If he's going home tomorrow, that's what people have been saying every fucking day. Every day, every time he goes live, the shaky camera and the, hi oh guys! Why are you so obsessed with me? Why are you so obsessed with me? I put in that clip because she was like, um, someone mentioned that Didi was supposed to go home and she wants to sit there and say, yeah, she, it was supposed to be days ago, but she's still there recording. Chantal's keeping up with his channel just as much as he's keeping up with hers. All parties involved are obsessed with each other. It's just she has more to lose. She looks like the bigger clown. And at the end of the day, if Nada's channel goes away tomorrow, he stops uploading, he can do that. He may have had his struggles, but he was managing somehow without this platform. Chantel, everything that's happened over the last year, technically longer than that, but especially over the last year, that's going to stick with her. And when it comes to the people who have amnesia, I, myself and a lot of creators will be here to remind you exactly who Chantel is. More and more, the longer she stays in these cycles, she destroys her reputation online and her life offline. <laughs> he, he, oh, okay. Hold on. I, all right. So if you guys don't mind, just keep me posted on what's going on and what's being said. If we're going to have a long live stream, we're going to have a long live stream because I want to get through this because obviously I did edit it down. But if I got to switch to Natter, I will switch to Natter depending on how good it is. So just keep me posted. I'd appreciate it. And to my mods. And no offense to anyone watching, obviously. I just, my mods know what I look for when it comes to stream sniping. I appreciate you guys. He thinks I'm going to talk to him ever again after this. He's fucking on drugs. And she's still trying to get his attention as much as an hour ago, but carry on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're on drugs because I'm not talking to you ever again. Thank I'll you, laugh Red. I'm on TV, Thank but... you. Why are you watching me? <laughs> Look at how happy she is. Look at how happy she is now that she knows he's reacting to her, he is looking at her, and he is giving her attention. This is the man that she claims she thinks gave, at this point, Gave him an STI again. She's so upset that Dee Dee is there. And look, she is so giddy and so happy that this man is looking at her big, bald, desperate ass as she lays spread across that damn bed. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Why are you fat shaming me? Dee Dee's fat too. You're not funny. He's funny than you are. Look, look. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. She is so happy. Imagine. Oh, I could. Okay. I Sometimes I have to 
check myself. Like, I'm used to this. I should not be surprised. This woman's almost 40. She's desperate. She is a train wreck. But sometimes when you sit back and watch, it's like, this is real. This is someone's real life. This is someone who is actually this pathetic and willing to broadcast it to the internet for free. For free. You're not either, Didi. You're laughing. You sound pathetic. You sound pathetic, Didi. Fucking bitch. He's been doing this since the beginning and you keep going back. Yep, I did. Stupid. My song called Pathetic for a reason. How am I just now realizing that? I don't know. Because who wants to realize that? Like, who wants to think, like... Desperate old bitch. Desperate old bitch. Shut the fuck up, fat shamer. You're a fat shamer, and Dee Dee's a desperate old fat bitch. Chantel has the breathing and mobility of a 90-year-old. She's big as a tank herself, or better yet, a deep freezer. And Dee Dee um, may be overweight, but Dee Dee, isn't she almost six feet tall? And I'm going to guess, because I haven't seen her body, Dee Dee's not sitting there with two fucking stomachs. So she wants to talk about all these things that Dee Dee... Dee Dee seems like she has better lung capacity than Chantel. She has better mobility than Chantel. She has better job security than Chantel. She seems like she lives a more fulfilling life. I'm sure Dee Dee knows what a 401k is. Can y'all believe the other day somebody in Chantel's chat mentioned 401k? And unless it's called something else in Canada, Chantel had no idea what they were talking about. No idea what they were talking about, which is sad. Chantel may make 10,000 plus a month, but make no mistake, there are people here watching this who probably don't make a fraction of that have more security than Chantel. I've said this before. Chantel's channel, if it gets demonetized tomorrow or terminated, Chantel will be sucking dick in the corner of any street in Gatineau. She'll probably have a sign, Gatineau Ho, need to pay rent in no time. So don't let this stuff fool you. Because I've seen people talk about it like, oh, she makes this, she makes that. What I would do with this, what I would do. Look at her quality of life. She has no security. She has no strong foundation. Chantel will be screwed if anything happens to her child, uh, her channel. Never forget that. Dee Dee is leaps ahead. Leaps ahead of Chantel. And no, I'm not a fan of Dee Dee, but facts are facts. She is a leaps ahead of Chantel. And many people watching in this chat, in Chantel's chat, are leaps ahead of her as well. Don't let those numbers fool you. Do not let those numbers fool you. She does look like a cheap pet. Chris Farley looking ugly fucking bitch. What else okay. can I say about her? Yeah. Get some help because the Chris Farley and the Trump comb overs, which I wouldn't even be surprised if she got from the farms. Get some new reads, bitch. Because you could read Dee Dee down just a little bit. But this whole idea that that's going to keep flying, no, sweetie. <laughs> Not at all. Desperate. Desperate. Oh, thank you, Anna. I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was called something else. Okay. Thank you for that. Because it was weird. I'm like, how she not know what a 401k is? I mean, she also doesn't know what a budget is. You, you, everything is going to look big on you. You're a hundred, you're 140 pounds. You're 140 pounds. You're the one wearing my slippers, bitch. You're the one wearing my fucking slippers, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, Didi, why the hell you do that? I ain't gonna lie, that was a little... Didi, why you do that? I know that man's floors are dirty and he doesn't vacuum, but why the hell would you ever put your feet in something that Chantel's hooves have been in? Why would you do that? I mean, to which is on, it ain't my feet, but Didi, do better. What, do you, what is wrong with you? Um, Hi, Meditating Cat. Thank you for being a member for five months. I love you, boo. I love you. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> Dee Dee is a fat, ugly bitch. Ugly bitch. Listen, y'all could have your opinions. Everyone has their opinions. I know I get dragged from time to time because when Chantal cleans up, I don't think she's ugly. I think she's pretty. That's just my personal opinion. But um, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Dee Dee's not ugly at all. And Dee Dee, in my opinion, Actually, she doesn't really have to clean up. She's always come on camera looking clean to me. And I think she's a beautiful woman. That's just my opinion. Chantel's saying that because she's a hater, of course. But I think Dee Dee's a beautiful woman. And Chantel tries to take shots at um, her job while being transphobic. We'll be touching on that a little later in the stream. Um, my fat ass would love a chiseled jaw, okay? I would love a chiseled jaw, a thigh gap, and collarbones, visible collarbones for the world to see. Uh, I have never heard chiseled features being a bad thing until this hate nap bitch wanted to talk about Didi while trying to be transphobic. Chiseled jaw, sign me the fuck up. Are you kidding? Sign me up. I would love to have some chisel attached to these high cheekbones. Sign me up. So there's nothing to be ashamed of when it comes to Didi having chiseled features. What? Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Step. For oh, I'm gonna text you later. For real, bonjour. Are you seeing Kiap Gadsa? Listen, Stabby, Stabby, get done, get done. He ain't seen nothing yet. He ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you, boo. Well, he's not here. Finally, he can shower. What? Only depressed in his room again. Pizza's more of a man. I'm tripping. I did not add it. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Ugly bitch. Ugly bitch. Chantal, you're so jealous. Pete is more of a man. Pete is more of a man. Pete! Come here. Pete is more of a man than you'll ever, 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 ever be. Yeah, I see him in the dress man today. Better looking than you ever. So? Didi could wear your Didi could wear your fucking clothes. Listen to the buffalo fucking cockroach. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. I'm just... He called her a buffalo and a cockroach. I think he was talking about Chantel and um Pete. I'm not completely sure, but the buffalo and cockroach comment got me. That shit got me. Natter ain't shit. I want to remind everyone, Natter ain't shit. But that man, when he's funny, he's funny. Oh, yeah, okay. Were nice. you sleeping? Yeah, nice. No. Nice. Oh, sorry. Nice food and pie. Tell him off, tell him off. And pie. Just fuck nice. off, you. Just fuck off. Everybody see you. That's right. That's right. You back up. You told him. Just fuck off. Just fuck off. That's right. You told him. The same man that played a part in why you were so disposable. Uh, Pete's going to learn eventually. <laughs> Pete's going to learn. Just fuck off. That, you tell him, Pete, shut your ass up and go back on Twitter and fight for a cause that you don't actually <laughs> do anything for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, love. What's pizza? Please. He's not even shy. Are you fucking serious? Yes. Stupid, manipulative, abusive yes, dickwad. Mm -hmm. And you think Dee Dee's better than Pete's? Why the hell are you watching this anyway? I mean, she you has look a embarrassing. job. Hold on now. <laughs> she has a job. She has her own place. So, I mean, what are we comparing here? What are we comparing? If we want to compare Dee Dee and Pete's, if we want to compare sidekick to sidekick, I mean... Natter has the upper hand, and that's pathetic. That is pathetic. Hanging out with somebody who's fucking 85, 85 year old Chris Farley. Uh -huh, what else? I'm telling Why the Like, what the Like, I'm telling you, Mark, he's genuinely not worth it. Huh? All right, I see you, um, Shenanigan. Keep me posted. Cause I feel like it's brewing, it's brewing. And I will sit my big ass up here for hours. I have no problem. I have no problem. Thank you for the update though. Are you fucking done? She's fucking 85. Are you fucking done? Are you fucking done? Are you fucking done? He's not worth the effort. He's not worth the effort. Chantal looks like the Kool-Aid man. Remember that? Oh, Dee Dee, not your fucking geriatric insults. 
Dee Dee's geriatric insults. I haven't heard that one since grade three, you fucking moron. See you later, Ella fucking Gator. You think I'm stupid? You're the one wearing red. It, yeah, Chantel's one to talk. Now, Dee Dee, here's the thing, Dee Dee. It's about how you say it. You know, even like I see where she was going with that. It just didn't land the way she wanted to land. But it's not that Dee Dee was wrong. For you know, for anyone who's seen the um OnlyFans pictures with Carly that was circulating, Chantel was standing there looking like the Kool-Aid man. She really was. She really was. That was the most awkward collab I've ever seen. And yes, I've seen OnlyFans collabs. I'm a fan of OnlyFans creators. So when she was standing there with her titties out, looking like she is holding her breath, holding her breath, probably trying to suck in one of them two stomachs, she looked like the Kool-Aid man. She really did. It. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if there was no AC in that room. I don't know if she wasn't given water before they took that picture. I'm not sure if she needed to take a shit and she was holding it. But, um, and yes, I am, yes, I'm giving my opinion on that because fuck Chantel. Fuck Chantel. She's uh, tried to shit on sex workers before and now her big ass is on OnlyFans, please. Editing her ass from here to hell. No when damn well that's not what your ass looks like, but go ahead. What, what do I know? Um... Aaron, thank you for being a member for four months. She, I mean, I'm. It, it's sad I had to say it, right? Like, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's weird. It's just, thank you for being a member, by the way. I appreciate you, boo. And yes, Indy, respect all sex workers. Respect all sex workers. I won't be respecting Chantel. Fuck that bitch. But I know what you meant, Indy. I know what you meant yesterday you're the one wearing red <laughs> dd you're fucking 400 pounds six foot two you dumb fucking bitch um i'm not sure of dd's weight i don't think it's a topic that she's shared with the internet but if dd is uh 400 pounds which i don't believe she is based on what we've seen she's also dumb tall so her bmi is still lower than chantelle's her BMI is still lower than Chantel's. Chantel likes to make these comparisons, and I've seen her make comparisons with other reaction channels, forgetting that BMI is a thing, and she's not grasping and, and gasping for air just for simply sitting there and speaking. How, do y'all remember when her fat ass waddles downstairs when pizza's not available to get the food? She sounds like she was being chased around the gas station once again. And which, when I think about it, there's no way she ran around a gas station. That bitch waddled. I don't even know if she can speed walk. I highly doubt that. But that man, he probably didn't even chase her. He just walked briskly behind her as she waddled around the gas station. Like, help me, help me. Fuck. Anyways, let me let me get back to the stream. <laughs> and you fucking are ugly as fuck. Exactly. Natter, Jennifer. you look you're fucking oh, stupid. Oh, uh, what were you about to say? Were you gonna say the R word? You you almost let it slip. You almost let it slip. Can I just say she got some nerve always trying to use that word, ma'am? Always trying to use that word after she made a whole don't be ableist video. Shut your oof. I mean beep beep. I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> Thank you. Where's the lie? Head, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Chantel really sat her in that lopsided head on live stream and said her address out loud. Sat her lopsided head on live stream. I don't know if she thinks that sword or whatever, the back scratcher is really going to do something. But one day she is going to tell someone to pull up and they will do it. See, Didi, I get the sense she has a lot to lose. Obviously, it sounds like she has a pretty good job. She has a future. She has responsibilities, unlike Chantel. But Chantel really said, bring it. This is the same Chantel who pulled up to Natter's home. What was it, in December? Didn't get out the car. Didn't say a word to Didi. And as she drove away, just went to throw in there. She's been wearing the same top for three, uh, three days. Chantel is not about that. Chantel just gets upset and says things that she will later regret. But if Didi ever takes the time out, 
to molly wop the fuck out of this bitch in minecraft you know the game has upgrades in um the new release or whatever um i won't feel bad <laughs> chantel chantel mm -mm -mm. that's I, i'm just gonna ah this is a mess you see that right <laughs> Lord, I'll tell you, she, she sucks a lot in. She sucks a lot in. You can tell when she's bad, she has to, ooh, button it right on up. But every once in a while, thank you again, Lord. Every once in a while, she lets us slip. She lets, oof. Kites in Minecraft, that does happen. And the day that this bitch goes rolling down the street, yelling for help yelling for help. And I hope when that day happens, some badass kid trips her bitch ass. Cause you know how she's always has an issue with kids or mothers. I hope somebody or an old person, cause she always trying to do the old talking about someone's age. I hope someone old, I, I hope their cane accidentally trips her big ass and she just goes rolling and rolling and rolling. And I hope some nosy, nosy teenager is recording the whole thing. I, listen, this is a Chantel. Bring it, Dee Dee. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, right. Your arthritis won't let you. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Your arthritis won't let you, bitch. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. She got so giddy just because she heard them saying, bring it. Bring it. Bring Girl, shut your ass up. Jesus. Oh, come on down. Dee Dee, how is your vacation? Watching me for eight hours. Watch Nader obsessing about me for eight hours. Can you go for a walk? Can you walk at least 10 steps without having Yeah, I can, bitch. Can you go back? Dee Dee did her thing. Dee Dee said, can you go for a walk? Can you go a few steps without it? Dee Dee do what it was. Dee Dee has seen her breathing in real time. Dee Dee has been in front of this chick and saw her breathing. I know that's right, Dee Dee. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You already know. Chantel would be out of breath coming from the car to the doorstep. Please. You don't even have to score up with Chantel. Just wait for her to swing a couple of times. Wait for her to be out of breath and just uppercut her damn throat. You know, in Minecraft, because, you know, there's different Mortal Kombat um characters and stuff man please princess when i tell you when i tell you i wouldn't be coming back to the internet i would not be coming back to the internet not not only because i'd be embarrassed but because i'd be trying to figure out an alibi dead ass i'd be trying to figure out an alibi if my ex-partner or someone i used to sleep with whatever the your situation ever well first of all they would never <laughs> Let me be real. They would never. And at one point, I will be clear, right? Because when I first started the underwear, my first thought, obviously, as someone who has their cycle, I was just like, oh, are those, you know, possibly period panties? Because I could understand that struggle, you know? I've had accidents. I know a lot of people who have their, you know, who have their cycle have had accidents. No, this bitch hasn't had that because of, you know, her surgery. You're just dirty. Why? was your crotch that color? And then she tries to say, which we'll get into, she tries to say it's because, no, let me let it play out. Let me let it play out. She's just dirty. Let me tell you, there is no excuse. There is no excuse for her underwear to look like that. Just like there is no excuse for that man to still be holding on to them. But after really reflecting and thinking about it, it makes sense that Natter still had it. Natter has been playing this, actually they both have, been playing this blackmail game left and right for how long? How many times have we seen them get in arguments like, oh, I have this on him, I have this on her? He's been doing that since the beginning. Every time they argue, it's I have this, I have this. That's why he had them dirty ass pants. I would have held on to something different. I would have held on to something different. And he held those with no gloves, <laughs> no mask. We're still in the middle of a panini press. You had a mask on hand, I would hope. Nothing. And I doubt he washed his hand. He probably sucked. Oh, he probably sucked on a cigarette afterwards too. Oof. They both dirty. Mm, they're both dirty. Your Uber bus, you fucking dumb idiot. 
Go back to Lashin. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Cancer Warrior. <laughs> Thank you, boo. How's your vacation? We're watching me, bitch. Watching me, bitch. Fuck. Listen, if I want to go see my friend, um, you know, a couple of hours away, and every meal was paid for by someone else, I mean, it's still a great time away. I'm laughing, having picnics on his bed. I know it's crackhead stuff, but I don't care. Um, and she could work from his home and all that food. She don't got to cook. Because, you know, when Didi's at home, she probably cooks for herself. Now she got this crackhead friend cooking for her. She ain't have to pay for it. It's on somebody else's dime. Do you know how good free food that you didn't have to cook yourself tastes? It tastes so good. It tastes better than it would have if you did it yourself, even if you know how to cook. So go off, Didi. Get that free food. You, yeah, you're both obsessed with me. This fucker have fun yeah, supporting him. Uber. Have fun. Have Uber. fun. Uber. 250, to 250 to come here to suck your dick. Because you're fucking desperate. You can't be alone. Right? Yeah. Not 4K a month. Oh, actually, you know what? Probably. Pretty close. So, when it comes to this clip, right? Someone asked Chantel how much she spends on that or a month. Someone in the chat said probably 4K. And she went quick to respond like, no, definitely not 4K. And then she thought about it. She was like, yeah, probably 4K. So, while Chantel's talking about Didi taking an Uber ride for 2 250 we still don't know for sure if they're sleeping together. I think they are, but we don't know that for sure. We don't. And um, if they are, guess what? That condom on his head shows that Didi at least has enough respect for her body to protect it from anything that can happen, right? I mean, there's other conversations to have where Didi's not respecting herself, of course, if they are sleeping together, but at least they're using protection. But Chantel is spending 4 k a month or more, <laughs> plus gifts probably, on Natter only to end up looking like a damn clown online, ended up with the clap, and actually out of a lot of kitchen appliances, spices, um, what else, broken CPAP, just a whole ass fool. So if Didi is spending that 250 to go be with her friend that she's possibly sleeping with, that doesn't compare to what the hell Chantel has had to put out just to get the man to play with her boobs or give her attention or cook her a meal. Chantal doesn't connect that. Who cares if it was 250? You're spending thousands. That man is sitting on the iPad Pro that she bought for almost 2K to drag the fuck out of her. And a couple of months ago, he was watching her on her own TV to drag the fuck out of her. He's cooking on live stream as we speak with cooking appliance, uh, you know, kitchen appliances that she brought there, that she bought, spices she bought, groceries she probably bought, unless they're buying new ones. Chantel's not dragging Didi the way she thinks she's dragging Didi. Yes, is there criticism when it comes to Didi? Of course. But girl, <laughs> okay. How embarrassing. Not counting all like any weed, any drug, like any drugs, as in like I'll check, Mandy. Animals, Thank you, boo. Like that, mushroom. I will check. Me. Nothing other than that, though. Thank you for the super. <clears throat> Where's the fish stick? Come, come see him, asshole. Come see him, asshole. Nothing's gonna happen to Pete's. Yeah, like I said, if he tries, I will absolutely call the police on him. <clears throat> He's gonna get his gat no criminal friends after us, I guess. You so fish stick is um the roundabout way that Natter the bigot uh tries to call uh Pete's the F slur. So she's talking about come bring it to the man that she knows that she's actually sat on this platform and said she'd protect nothing would happen to him. Natter, the man who didn't hesitate to stab two people, and now she's sitting here. Remember, um, 
last month talking about he'll get his criminal friends on y'all. But she's sitting here challenging this man. And you'll hear her saying a little bit, she's not scared of Natter. But the live stream she did about an hour or two ago, warning Didi, she was all of a sudden scared. When he doxed her, keep in mind Chantal has doxed many people, spread my docs personally. She was scared, even though there's people who literally send her things to her home all the time. She's scared. Today she's scared, but right here she wasn't scared. She was challenging him, right? Hmm. Okay. Not fucking ever touch him. You will never touch him. You will never touch him. Oh yeah, bring bring Didi over here. You and Didi over here right oh, fucking yeah, now in your Uber. Yeah, that's right. Walk here, bitch. Where's Choke on a fucking falafel. Where's fish stick? Where's Where's fish stick? stick? Exactly, baby. Where's fish stick? Bitch! More man than you'll ever be. In a dress and everything. He'll wear eyelashes and be more of a man than you. Listen to this. Poppers. Poppers. Ghetto got no whore. You probably fuck your roommate on the couch. That's why. You fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate and gave me gonorrhea and now you're giving it to Didi. You're homophobic. That's really sad. So Chantel's response to Natter, Natter being a bigot himself, is to talk about poppers, mention that she believes that Natter slept with his roommate, who was a man, and gave an STI to her and Didi. Keep in mind, the next day, Chantel found out she was negative. She didn't have an STI. But why bring up that roommate? Why ever bring up that roommate? Chantel is homophobic as fuck. This is the same Chantel who called him a camel. Who, who He looks like a camel who's on crack with AIDS. I need people to fully understand, and we've talked about it over and over and over again. Chantel's rages speak to everything that she is. Because why would you say that? Why would you say that? She knows probably that man has never slept with his roommate. That's just a roommate, someone who's helped, he's helping out. But of course, when she's upset, she goes for every bigoted, every bigoted opinion that she can, every little chance that she can. That's why she's, um, which we'll go over in a second when it comes to the trans comments, when it comes to Didi. Keep in mind, none of that fucking matters and none of it will ever matter. Didi is a woman, period. Period. But Chantal feels when she uses these things as insults, as if being trans is a bad thing, when she uses these things as insults, she shows exactly who the fuck she is. A bald bigot who is living the existence that she deserves. And when it all comes crashing down, because it all will, I will be sitting here happy, moisturized, in my home, watching bigots get exactly what they deserve, including Natter, please. I am very well aware of the things Natter is saying. They're both trash. They both can drag each other. And I hope it all comes crashing down. Hmm. Yeah, make fun of him when you have poppers, real nice. Exactly, Keyonce. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever, you fucking bitch. Let's see Didi's Dee fucking underwear. Let's see Didi's Dee underwear. Let's see Didi's Dee granny fruit of the loom panties. I would like to showcase Chantel Marie, the woman who thinks she's better than most people. She definitely thinks she's better than all women. Th this, these, <laughs> this is what she left at someone else's home. I'm not sure what her drip dry consists of, but it consists of something. And if we have a new strain, uh, anything new coming out, 
during this panini press, it started from Chantel's crotch because I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's shaped that way. I don't know why it's that stiff. I'm very, very confused, but you know what? It's her. It's her body. <laughs> if she doesn't want to bathe, she doesn't want to bathe. If she wants to be crusty, she's going to be crusty, but this is Chantel Marie's underwear. Her tent size underwear. And I can't believe, I cannot believe that when I said they were tent size, I got, a, well, a little pushback until the drama started. Then I got a lot of pushback. But, you know, some of my comments may not be nice. I never claimed to be a nice person. And why would I be nice to someone like Chantel? I never claimed to be nice. But one thing about me, even when it's mean, it doesn't mean it's not accurate. It does not mean it's not accurate. This man the other day was taking her underwear and measuring his closet. Measuring his closet. And here's the thing. If Chantel was someone different, of course, that's horrible. Don't do that to a woman. But it's Chantel. Chantel Marie. I don't give a shit. That's one dirty bitch. <laughs> one bald, dirty bitch. Heather, you see it, Heather? It's so stiff. It is so stiff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's... Uh, listen, if y'all know the rules, if I have to see it, y'all have to see it. <laughs> Destiny, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> and this man's holding those with his hands. No gloves. No mask. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see Granny's panties. Let's see Dee Dee's granny. You don't even care about Dee Dee being there, you know? First of all, not everyone wants to showcase their panties in general on the internet. Chantel has done that in the past. And of course, she got mad when I described them the way I described them. But not many people want to do that. This is not new to Chantel. She's shown off her underwear before. She was so damn proud. This is just the dirty version, the, the version after she wore it. Remember she did the haul? What was it? A year and a half ago? She's not opposed to her underwear being online she just didn't want the dirty ones but you don't even give a fuck about her being there Dee, Dee he doesn't even care that you're there yeah. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck he just needs a warm body to stroke his ego and his fucking dick every night yeah ooh. i'm not ditching pete's for another no i don't want to spend one night away so i just wanted to point this out and add these clips because she's saying all he wants is a um warm body at night she was quick to wobble right back to him that night that Pete's needed him because she's that desperate and she doesn't care about anything outside of herself or what benefits her. I just wanted to remind everyone. From Nader. Why? Why? He's still going to be depressed when I leave. I want to sleep with Nader. We're making things work and that's it. Look, the next day. I so like alone. Look, I feel so alone. I bet Pete's felt alone, but you wanted to be with Natter. I want to be with Natter. I want to make it work. I want to make it work with a bum who gave me the ST, STI. My bad. <laughs> I want to make it work. I, and look at her. Look at her dumbass crying the next day. When I tell you Chantel really has almost nothing age well for her on her platform, it is hilarious. The next day, her desperate asking, I don't think he can love me the way. I should be left. I feel so alone. But Didi's the desperate one. Okay. Because I don't feel like the love I need. You know? After everything? Ooh. I do? Uh huh. Like, you should play with my boobs. Let's see. Oh. And just because you spend thousands on someone a month does not mean they owe you playing with your boobs. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Imagine crying on live stream because someone won't fuck you or play with your boobs. And then months later, you are sitting here calling someone else desperate. Oof. How embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for this. Listen, she's proud of it. She's proud of it. 
I yeah, I don't get it. There really should be a study done on Chantel. It is overdue at this point. Thank you for the super chat, Bo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Matthew, for the super chat. Dude, it's half my size. So you're a full of shit liar telling everybody that size doesn't matter and everyone's beautiful, but you're going to sit there and fat shame me? Yes, he was trying to do anything to oppress this buffalo who has an ATM attached to her damn foot. Yes, he clearly is a liar. Clearly. This man has been fat shaming her for months and she tried to make excuses about it about it and I did include a clip as a reminder. Just cause you're fucking mad at me? Oh, real nice. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You're Goodbye. Desperate. You just want someone to say yes to every single when fucking- you know how to watch this first? <laughs> when you know how to watch this first? Yeah, they're full of your dirty cum. <laughs> you know how to take shower? Come talk. They're full of your dirty cum. Gone no cum. What do you expect? If, first of all. <laughs> Why do you still have my dirty if, underwear? <laughs> If. It's, it's full. Okay. It's full of your dirty cum that you don't even fucking wash your dick before you fuck me. So this woman just sat on Blue Ivy's internet and had the. Oh, I should have used a different reference. I apologize. I'm just used to saying that. She just sat on this internet and said that he regularly fucks her with a dirty dick, and that was to explain away the crutch on those panties. What? What? Why? So not only are you desperate enough to spend thousands on a man who won't even claim you, barely has respect for you, rewards him after every <laughs> disrespectful thing he does online, gave you an STI, and she is sitting here on this internet saying the reason the crotch of those panties look like that is because he, she allows him to fuck her with a dirty dick. What kind of explanation is that? And keep in mind, later on, she goes to explain because she has to come up with a new explanation she actually said i didn't include it here I, I posted it on twitter that the reason the watch looked like that she was pretty much like guys you know how it is you know how it is like you know when you go and pee in between sex you just go you don't what who what what do you mean you know how it is who is you guys and let them come forward because who is you guys who is not wiping that is disgusting. You know, in between sex, you just go to the bathroom, you don't wipe. So what? None of her explanation, like none of it made sense. I, I don't understand, but, but should I be shocked? Should I be? This is the same woman. This is the same woman who did a dirty pussy haul on YouTube. A dirty pussy haul on YouTube. You know, <sighs> listen, I, I see you guys, I see the reaction. I, it, she said it, you know, she said it. You know, on that note, <laughs> Let's go on a quick break. We're going to go on a quick break. <laughs> Let's gather ourselves. Let's get hydrated. Make sure the skincare is flowing. Yeah, let's go on a break. Let's go. I, yeah, let's do it. You ain't got enough of this fever. I know. I know. Nothing would remain and you don't want to go. So go Cause you're thinking your place, no time to waste I wanna love you but life doesn't wait You can stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be afraid 
Hope you guys enjoyed the break. I hope you're all hydrated. You checked on your pets. You know what I'm saying? Pigmented, I saw your comment. It brought me so much joy. Oh, that makes me so happy. Honestly, Pigmented's comments during the breaks are my favorite. <laughs> They're my favorite. Ah, oh, welcome. If you can't beat them, join them. Join us in this joy that is Chantel and everything that she offers. Destiny, welcome, boo. Welcome to the Go Cluster. Uh, let me see. What am I? Oh, and Destiny, you're supreme. So if you go into the community post where there's one for Cluster Supreme specifically, it'll take you right into the Discord. And welcome. Thank you for the super chat. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Ooh, could you imagine the sound? Well, actually, I think we do have a ref. Oof. You know, let me not think about that. I know I got some nerve because what I put you guys through. Thank you for the super chat. I know I have some nerve, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Thank you, Red. Thank you. You know what he likes to do? He likes to cook, um, end the stream, and then go upstairs and drag Chantel. So it might be one of it might be what he's trying to do. But uh, chop chop, sir. I don't have all night. Okay. Yeah. How many times did you itty be itty boo Didi? Fucking liar. And where's where's Ashley? Where's Ashley? Where's Ashley? Where's Ashley? Oh, be honest yourself. Where's Ashley? Be honest. Where's Ashley? You know what? Who drove you, you know home what? from Montreal? Go have sex with Who? I will. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, Pete and I are fucking tonight. Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, where's? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, green golf ball. Oh, hold on, hold on. First of all, not the accent. This dumb bitch. Um. Okay, uh, sir, uh, cook faster. The fuck? Cook faster. Because if I have to start up another stream because he starts popping off, I'm going to be mad because I'm going to have to probably be in my bonnet. So cook faster. No one actually cares about the fish, the lamb, the beef, none of that. None of it. <laughs> Green! Yeah, from you! I show again. I show again how did you underwear? Thank you, Matthew. What I want. As much as you want. You bring me from Montreal, so you drive high. So you drive high. Listen to this. Because that is true. Chantal forgot during all this time of trying to prove that she picked him up as if we don't believe she's that desperate and that stupid. And thank you again, Matthew, for the super chat if I didn't say that. She forgot for her to have picked him up. That means he was high. She was high. Let me rephrase that. He could be high. He's not driving. She was high. And Chantel is willing, even though we, we've been new, to admit right here that she was high just to get him to say she picked him up as if that proves what. She wants to be right so, so badly that she's willing to finally admit, I mean, we've been new, that she drove high to go get him. But take it away. Take it away, dumbass. Sorry. You drive high? Right? If you go put me out from one of the okay. two, if you lie, All right, you admit home. it, fine. Oh. Right. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Putting people's lives at risk to go pick up your bum ass broke ass, pathetic, because he's pathetic too, please, friend. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Hmm. Admit that I drove you then. Okay, admit it. You actually look less. Admit it. Because you lie to all your virgins. Admit it. And if not, you lie and you You lie to your audience. Because we've been together for nine fucking months. And I'm at your house every day in your bed, and you tell people no. You're a liar. Why are my fucking wish. underwear there? You wish. wish. You wish. You wish. You know you fucking are bored with fucking Dee Dee. Oh, people have been taking Chantel's racism. Not all people. I don't want to discount the people that have been open to listening. People have been taking her, some people taking it lightly for some time. Chantel is a full-blown racist. There's no confusing, and there's not one person who could step to me and many creators and prove otherwise. Chantel is a, ha a, a low-down, dirty-ass bigot. She fetishizes men of color because she believes that she's above them. She believes that she's above them. That's why she's so shocked that this man is able to outplay her at her own game. She thinks because she came along and she was supposed to give him this life he would have never experienced. Otherwise, she could sit on that damn platform and call him a camel. A camel? Yeah. Chantel is a piece of dog shit. Chantel deserves everything, every bit of the life and the existence that she's living. Let's just hope she doesn't take other people down with her because she's that reckless with her behavior. Chantel is extremely, extremely racist. The problem is it makes people uncomfortable and try to say, oh, you're throwing out the racial. No, 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 she's racist. We have proven it over and over and over with her own words, with her own actions. She is racist, she is homophobic, and she is transphobic as well. She's a piece of shit. So to the people who like to argue it so bad or not want to look at it because maybe you have to look at your own behavior or your own language or the things you allow around you. Let's talk about what the problem really is when people try to say Chantal's not racist, Chantal's not homophobic, Chantal's not transphobic, yes she is. 
But maybe saying Chantel is those things would make you have to look at yourself. Sucks to suck, huh? Chantel's a piece of dog shit. And you're going to be bored. Good luck. Have a nice life. Do you want me to give you the address? I have the address. Do you want me to give it to you? Okay. This is her. In my GPS. This is her potentially doxing Didi. Now, from my understanding, that was not Didi's address, which was smart. It sounds like they give him an address that was nearby. So that's where she picked him. I've done the same thing. On a first date, you're not getting my address. You're getting the address of somewhere nearby. Chances are I took an Uber there, and that's where you're going to pick me up. Because you want to pick me up? Of course, pick me up. That's the right thing to do. I should be picked up. But you're not picking me up from my home. And I think they're smart enough to realize, I mean, they're everyone involved is stupid. But when it comes to the situation, they were smart enough to know that Chantel is known for doxing people and she shouldn't have Dee Dee's real address because, prime example, she didn't hesitate one bit, one bit to read out Dee Dee's address. Hmm. And Dee Dee is a single woman who lives alone. And she didn't hesitate for one second. But all of a sudden, guys, all of a sudden, she wants to help Didi. Remember the live stream that we're going to go over on Saturday? She wants to help Didi. She wants to be there for her. She fears for Didi. The same single woman that you blurted out her potential address, that woman. Oh, thank God Chantel's there to be there for Didi. The same Didi she's been trying to drag for months. The same Didi that doesn't owe Chantel a fucking thing. Mm. She will even be doxxed for him. Didi, you're a desperate, fucking, pathetic loser. <laughs> Here's the thing. I didn't actually hear Didi say, go ahead, say the address. Chantel and Nata were going back and forth and Chantel just moved. But for Chantel to sit there and say Didi's willing to be doxxed for Nata, let's talk about what Chantel's willing to do for Nata. Because in this live stream alone, Chantel broke terms of service left and right. Several terms of service was broken when it comes to this live stream. Chantel believes if she deletes it, it didn't happen. Wrong. Not only do I have the link to this live stream, I know several people who have the link to this live stream. And another beautiful thing I have is the timestamp to where she was breaking terms of service. For those who may not uh, remember when it comes to another bigot that was taken off the platform, when I created that um, Twitter thread, it wasn't from my memory. It's because I had been taking notes for some time. I just kept quiet because I like to move in silence. So while Chantel's talking about what Didi is willing to risk for Natter, she is risking her platform once again. I have the link. I have timestamps. I'm sure I'm not the only one. She is willing to risk it all for this man. And I'm here to watch and laugh and take notes, bitch. It's a billion dollar business. Whether it's on private or deleted, they have access to it. You should ask your old buddy Negs. He knows all about it. Remember, I'm a queen. You might be able to beat me at checkers. Never chess. Never chess. I love seeing bigots fall. It's one of my favorite things to watch. Let's go. Let's go. Go there. Okay. If somebody from there go there to this other side of the door, she's here. Somebody else will open. Well, then you, I picked you up from that address. It's in my GPS, and I have gas receipts from the gas station in Lashin to prove it. I can prove it that I was there. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. Just admit it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Um, 
Thanks for the super chat. I did not. Let me try to lower her a little bit and see if that helps. I apologize. I'll try to lower it a little bit. That's Why would you even give me a fake address then, stupid? Why would he give her a fake address? This whole live stream proves why he should have given her a fake address. Why would you give me a fake address? Then you gave me an address that was probably right beside hers. Because I picked you up from there. You're homophobic. That's really sad. He's ready for you. He has a sexy dress for you. Yeah, and your husband is ready beside you. Your husband is ready beside you. Your husband is ready beside you. Hold on. I'm going to back this up. I'm going to drag her for filth. And then we're gonna look at this because I saw the ma I saw what you guys are saying. Hold on. Go there. Go okay. There, guys, if somebody from there go there to this address by the door. She's here. Somebody else will open. Well, then you. Because I picked you up from that address. It's in my GPS. And I have gas receipts from the gas station in Lashin to prove it. I can prove it that I was there. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. Just admit it. <laughs> Why would you even give me a fake address then, stupid? Why would you give me a fake address? Then you gave me an address that was probably right beside hers. Because I picked you up from there. You're homophobic. That's really sad. He's ready for you. He has a sexy dress for you. Yeah, and your husband is ready beside you. Your husband is ready beside you. Your husband is ready beside you. So this is Chantel saying Natter's husband is right beside her. What she means by that is, again, trying to call Didi a man, being transphobic, being the pathetic piece of shit that she is. She thinks that's an insult in some way. I don't know why she would think being trans would be some type of insult because Chantel is less than a woman. Chantel is barely, barely providing or doing anything worth ever met. Like she brings nothing. That's the thing. She brings nothing but being a fool online. What does Chantel actually do for anything? She's worth nothing. She, and I don't care what anyone's saying, oh, don't speak like that about a woman, please. I uplift women who are worth being uplifted. She's a worthless piece of shit who found luck showcasing her toxic life online. So as she continues to be transphobic and homophobic and all these things, that doesn't take away from the fact that every person she speaks on will probably have a better and continue to have a better quality of life, will achieve more than she has, and don't have to subject themselves to get by, don't have to subject themselves to doing the shit that she does online. You think the thing Chantel has gone through, people haven't gone through, of course, but they go about it very differently. And here's the thing, I may not like a lot about Didi, but one thing I can say for the people who are saying Didi's just as bad as Chantel, who the fuck are you watching? Who the fuck are you watching? It's okay for multiple things to be right at once. Chantel is a fucking bigot. She's a piece of shit. Every turn, ch chance she gets, she sits there and tries to disrespect another marginalized group. So stop saying, D oh, Didi's just as bad as Chantel. Where? Yes, she seems desperate. Yes, there's a lot of crit criticism that can be said about Didi. Trust me. But Didi is just as bad as Chantel. That, are you sure? Are we sure? Chantel's a piece of shit. There is no one on this. There is no one in this corner of YouTube that compares to Chantel. Whether you want to criticize reaction channels, whether you want to criticize the dumb bitch who's sitting behind besides Natter, because yes, dude, you're stupid. You're stupid. He may not treat you that way, but guess what? He does treat other people that way. And there's no way in hell a man would be my friend talking the way he talks. To, he threatened French fry girl. Oh, because you don't like that French fry girl talks about you? Tough, tough. Didi knows all this, but she's willing to still be his friend and be beside him. If you want to be that stupid, fine. But what we're not going to do is sit here and pretend that Didi is as bad as Chantel. Name a group that Chantel hasn't been disrespectful to. Name a group. Name a group of... I'll wait. Chantel's a piece of shit who thinks she's better than everyone while she offers nothing. Nothing to the world. That's why she has to pay for dick.
That's why she has to pay for the friendships that she does have. That's why she can't keep a fucking friend. And that's damn sure why her family don't even fuck with her. The first time that man spoke on her mother, she should have cleared his ass, made him regret the day he was fucking born. She should have wiped his whole family tree, cleared the whole fucking tree. You know what she did? Because she doesn't give a fuck about her family. She doesn't give a fuck about her friends. She doesn't give a fuck about her pets. She damn sure doesn't give a fuck about a marginalized group that she will never understand. She will never understand the struggles because she's a big, fat, white, bald bitch who sits on the internet and farts and is disrespectful to anyone she feels is beneath her. She has privilege. She has privilege. And this is what she does. She tries to showcase over and over and over how much better she is than everyone. But in reality, she offers nothing. She offers nothing. Because if that check stops, you don't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. But I know a lot of, I know a lot of people who will. Dee Dee will be one of them. Shit, Natter probably will be one of them, sadly. Every reaction channel that you talk down to. Trailer Park this, Motel 6. Bitch, you don't even know how people are living. Sitting there, living in, uh, what is it? Looking like Skid Row, Canadian Skid Row. And want to sit there and talk about other people's homes, the background of other people's uh, videos, please. And I hope Pete's is sitting there watching all of it. Because he's fucking pathetic. Fucking pathetic. And I don't give a shit who doesn't like how I drag Chantel. The day you catch me being respectful to a fucking bigot is the day that you can go check me in somewhere. You will never catch me being respectful or, oh my God, don't do that to her, drag that bitch. Why do you think I like the more unfiltered channels? Chantel doesn't deserve respect. I'm big on respect. I give it to who's worth it. Not everyone deserves respect and damn sure not a fucking bigot who not too long ago thought rapists and child molesters deserved respect, who didn't give a fuck and didn't even bat an eye that she had someone like Karate Joe in her fucking chat, please. The day you catch me out here rooting and, oh, please be respectful. Please don't talk about her underwear. Fuck that bitch. Drag her some more. Drag her some more. Please. That is fucking pathetic. Exactly. Exactly. And she want to talk about class because later on she um, talks about how, I guess, drinking gas station wine makes doesn't make Didi classy. Bitch, I've had wine that's $5 a bottle. I have more class in my pinky toe than Chantel has in that whole big ass buffalo body. And I don't even consider myself classy. I curse. I, I say what the fuck I want. Some people call me classy. Cool. I I appreciate it, but please, I have more in my picky toe. Fuck out of here. Cause she she mentioned, oh, I bought we bought we drank out of $70 bottles. So what, bitch? And you're still dirty with crusty panties. What is your point? You can afford $70 bottles of wine, but you cannot sit there and put your clothes in the wash. You can't afford to wash your body, your big ass, moldy ass body. Money means nothing means nothing if you're living your life like Chantel. She's a dirty, crusty, desperate bitch that just brings in thousands a month. So what? So what? Some days you don't even know if she brushed her damn teeth. Is that the life that anyone should want? Fuck no. Fuck no. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I'm bringing in that. Forget the money. I'll be damned if I'm doing it, period. Y'all know. In 2019, I was struggling. Guess who was still bathing? The fuck? I at least tried to look presentable in my videos. I was struggling financially. That's not an excuse. There's never an excuse, at least when it comes to the people I cover, including myself, to look that fucking filthy. It's pathetic. And then have the gall to sit here and try to talk about other women and constantly try to remind people how much you're better than them. Please. Chantal's better than no one. Chantel actually is beneath most people. The day you hear me trying to uplift a fucking bigot is the day you need to come cut off my Wi-Fi. Remember that, Chantel. While you're sitting there shitting on mothers, you can't even conceive. And I don't give a fuck how that sounds. I'm happy it's harder for you. 
you sitting here trying to shit on people because you make thousands a month? Oh, well, because that can stop. And I've made it clear it can stop. You want to try to dunk on trans people? I bet you they're not out here paying for fucking sex like you are, you dirty bitch. You want to sit there and be homophobic? Well, guess what? They could get fucking dick. And next time you want to throw out an age joke, remember a lot of things don't fucking age well for you, bitch. You already had the clap and you're still fucking him raw. I hope he goes for the gold next time and I don't give a fuck how that sounds. Fuck Chantel. She ain't shit. She ain't never gonna be shit. And no one is ever gonna come to my platform and try to check me. Be nicer. No. Fuck bigots. And stop saying Chantel's being bullied. Bigots can't be bullied. They're bigots. Bigots get cleared, rightfully so. Stop saying Chantel gets bullied. She is a bigot who is predatory and is living the existence she deserves. Understood? You can go to other reaction channels if you want. But I've been calling this fucking stank ass bitch out for almost two years. She's gotten worse and worse and worse. Is being called a pig too, too bad? Is that too much now? Is that too much? Oh my God, I called her a pig. I talked about her 10 size underwear. Fuck out of here. Man, y'all lucky it's not 2020. <laughs> uh, thank you, boo. Thank you, James. I appreciate you. Thank you for the super chat. I can't stand this bitch. I cannot stand her. <laughs> All she knows how to do is try to flex to show that man of color that he would be nothing without her. As if somebody wouldn't enjoy the same uh, different bottle of wine for $5. And that's why she's always trying to talk about the money. Oh, I did this. I did that. I did that. Trying to remind that peasant that his life didn't look that way without her. Get the fuck out of here. He may have been struggling, and I don't fully know the story, but he was still pushing forward. Chantel's replaceable, and that's what she's mad about. Didi, you know, the office worker or whatever she calls her, gets more attention than she does. Didi will get picked before Chantel does. The same woman who spends $4,000 or more on, uh, on Natter a month will always be second choice. And actually, I don't think she's second choice. She's more like fourth or fifth because a lot of things come before her when it comes to Natter. And that's what she's really mad about. That's what she's really mad about. And she, I want to repeat and emphasize, she is living the existence she deserves because she thought being able to cry and manipulate people all these years would work on YouTube and it's been failing. She thought it could work on Natter and it flopped because he will always beat her at her own game. Just like the live stream she ended, it was all manipulation. Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. The same bitch that was talking in here in this live stream we're going over is scared? No. She wants to end this man because no matter how ignorant Chantel is, Chantel knows her power as a white woman, a white woman with tears. I've seen it time and time again. And that's why when those super chats coming in, like, stay strong, woman power, shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. That bitch is dangerous. She's a predator, and she didn't give a fuck about May or anyone else until she realized she can't have that man. And now, now she wants to speak up. Now she wants to be this warrior for women and save them from Natter. Fuck you, and fuck the super chats that come in, too. Stop being so fucking stupid. Just because that woman's sitting there crying doesn't mean it's real. You're being manipulated. And I don't feel bad for any of you. That's why when y'all get mad and run to the reaction, drag her. Your stupid ass was in there super chatting her. Why? That's why y'all don't like me. Because I'm going to tell you the truth and you ain't going to like it. You may not like the messenger, but bitch, you're going to listen to the message because it is what it is. Oh. <sighs> Oh, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Listen, I've had a lot of people who have been real allies in this corner of YouTube when it comes to a lot of things that I faced. Yes, a lot of things weren't spoken on, and um, I won't touch on that today, but I will never, ever forget the way people have 
stuck for me and tried to be an ally and speak when people wouldn't listen to me. And I'm not saying I'm the perfect ally or I know what I'm talking about. There's so much I have to be educated on. There's so much I don't fully understand. But if I have a platform and I can speak on it and it's coming from this fucking bigot, I will speak for y'all. I will try my best. I'm not, I'm ignorant to a lot, yes. I may say the wrong thing, but I'm not above being educated. I'm not above learning. And I damn sure will sit here 10 toes down and speak for people who do not have a platform, speak for other marginalized groups that I don't understand. There's many walks of life I will never understand. Sitting here as a cis black woman, I won't understand what it is to be a trans person. I won't understand what it is to be a gay man, but I have a voice and I know what it can do. I don't care if you don't like the delivery tough, but there's gonna be someone to listen. And that's all that matters. And to the people who try to help people listen to me, <laughs> being a black woman on this platform who is constantly, constantly trying to have her language policed, I appreciate you guys. I genuinely do. The delivery is not always gonna be beautiful, but I will try my best. I can't stand I can't stand Chantal when she does this bullshit. This one, my baby, more than How are you gonna be homophobic when you're fucking mad, Didi? When you run away. What does that mean? What does that even mean? I wanna remind everyone this stream has been deleted. I will never forget this stream. Just like I never forgot the Charlie Cole stream and we know a criminal when we see one. So when people are trying to find excuses or Chantel is being positive for a week or so, if we even have that, never forget the stream. And I damn sure won't let you forget it either. Oh, yeah. Slime, welcome. Oh, but you guys. sound real nice, you fucking jerk. Yeah. I'm not trans shaming. That's exactly what you're being. It's not trans shaming, you dumbass. It's called being freaking transphobic. She likes. She just adds shaming at the end of anything as if that proves something. The bitch is transphobic. She has not changed that insult. What, since B Dee Dee has come around? It started in her car. And I remember she was like, oh yeah, maybe she is, maybe she is trans because she's big or however she's built. What the fuck does that mean? What does that even mean? And she's kept it going and people in her chat get real comfortable with that transphobic shit. And don't get me wrong, I've seen it within the community. I've seen it here and there. Then I make it very clear. Do not fuck with me when it comes to that transphobic shit. Do not play with me. You guys know, most people know where I draw a line. And when it comes to that bigoted shit, I don't give a fuck who it's coming from or who it's about. We're better than that. We are messy. We are toxic. We are a lot of different things, including petty. But we don't need to be that. We do not need to be that. Thank you, Chantel. Classy buying fucking wine from the Petro Canada. <laughs> Bitch, I buy us fucking $70 bottles when we drank, you stupid asshole. And yet this bitch is sitting there bald, looking like someone's uncle who shouldn't be left alone with fucking kids. I buy $70 bottles. What's your fucking point? You're sitting there with the loppy, lopsided ass head, not shaved, stinky as fuck, probably didn't brush your goddamn teeth. The shirt you, she's probably been wearing for what, the last three days? And her house looks like a fucking dump. What the point? What's the point? Oh, I buy $70 bottles of wine. So what? You're dirty, you're desperate, and you're fucking pathetic. What is the point? That's supposed to make Chantel better because they buy gas station wine. So what? I've seen Didi's Dee house. Maybe we should buy more gas station wine, shouldn't we? Because that bitch is doing something right. She got a whole condo. She got a whole condo. Hair laid. Not looking crusty. She even looked like she smelled good. I buy $70 bottles of wine, but I can't find a wig to fit my fucking head and make it look good. Shut your ass up. I Stupid honestly ass. did think I could buy him love. I did think I could, honestly, I'm not, like, I was like, you know what? Like, if I keep throwing money at him, if I keep helping him, well, look at you. Look at you. Exactly. I played that clip because I wanted to point out I wanted to point out that this is the woman who's been trying to buy his love the whole time. And the fact that he is 
picking, citing, and defending someone who makes less than her, who's older than her, that's her problem. And Chantal probably thinks she looks better than Didi. She's younger, she makes more money, she probably thinks she looks better than Didi, and he will still sit there and defend Didi over her any day. And that's the problem. That is the problem. Okay, so thank you for the super chat. This is what I'll say. <laughs> you guys know a lot of my relationships have changed. Um, even I don't make a big deal about a lot of things. And there are certain conversations I've seen and there are certain conversations I have had. There are a lot of conversations I've had. Um, and I want anyone watching to understand that even though I don't publicly talk about these things, it doesn't mean I haven't had those conversations. Again, I may not be perfect with the way I advocate, but if I have an open line of communication or if I did have, a, have an open line of communication, there are questions that I have had and there are answers I may not understand, but I have had people constantly contact me when it comes to their views on other creators. And like I said, I'm not here for a lot of different things, but I also don't make a lot of things public. That's the best way I can explain it. I don't want to ignore your super chat. I understand it is a big topic, um, but there's a lot I also don't understand even after certain conversations. And personally, I'm moving on. And for anyone who did feel that way when it comes to other creators and their language or the things that they say, I, you'll never get that here. And I will continue to have tough conversations when they need to be had, not saying with other creators, because again, I'm over here. I am over here and it's gonna stay that way. But thank you for the super chat. But I'm aware of what you're talking about because it's I've gotten a lot of DMs about it. And it's a tough conversation. Well, you look like fucking Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants. You think you're hot? You think you're fucking gorgeous? That wasn't funny. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, don't fucking go there. And look at me. You fucking fucked me for nine months, so don't fucking go there. That's funny, DD. You have five, five fucking brain cells. You and DD have five brain cells between the three of you. The Girl, after the drugs, you barely have any left. I don't think DD's 400 pounds. I don't know where Chantel's getting that from. Granted, I've never seen DD's full body, but even from what I've seen, I don't think DD's 400 pounds. But even if she was, who cares? <laughs> even if Didi was 400 pounds, who gives a fuck? Chantel thinks that actually matters. Chantel thinks she weighs less than Didi, makes more than Didi, is prettier than Didi, is younger than Didi. All these things that is supposed to somehow elevate her when the truth is Didi actually does not look as bad as Chantel, is not as pathetic as Chantel, and is thriving when it comes to quality of life way more than Chantel. So I guess 400 pounds didn't stop her, boo. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. And yeah, never going to happen. Never going to happen when it comes to Chantel or any bigot at that. You name the bigot, please. They can Minecraft off of a Minecraft. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for the super chats. I just really, I like, you guys know how I am. Um, I don't give a fuck if people come at looks and all that other shit. I don't give a fuck, please. I could drag. There's not a soul I can't drag. I do that shit in my sleep. If she wants to do that, just stick to the looks. But the fact that she tries to go for these digs that are transphobic, homophobic, and all this, like, cut that shit out. But Chantel is always going to be Chantel. A bigot cannot hide, well, Chantel at least, cannot hide that she's a bigot. No matter how hard she tries, no matter how hard she tries to walk things back or act like, that's not what I mean. Remember not too long ago, I think it was like a few days ago, she was saying, yeah, I don't like the transphobic comments that I see about Didi. Bitch, fuck you. You're a whole liar. They started with you. You make people very comfortable to do it in your chat. You make people very comfortable, especially when she's raging at Didi. Guess what I see? A whole bunch of transphobic comments flying. And you know what Chantel does? Look down at the chat, smiling. Happy that people are dragging her. So please, the day I feel sympathy for that bitch, please. She has a lot of nerves, Kimmy. A, a lot, a lot. Thank you so much for the super chat. I, I, oof. 
Couldn't be me. And Chantel's lucky. Chantel's lucky because Chantel one day might meet the right one. And if she meets the right one, good luck to her. Oh, yeah. That's not a question. That is a fact. They are fat phobic. Amber's actually a lot more fat phobic than uh, Chantel. Amber's one of the most fat phobic creators I've seen on this platform. She's extremely fat phobic. Well, Clark, don't fat sh shut your fucking big ass up. Please. Please. That's why, oh, so morbidly obese people can't speak on you. But if you see a thin, pretty, or a conventionally pretty woman, then your your tune changes. Or depending on who they are, they they shouldn't comment either. Please. The day shot. Why do you think I speak the way I do to them? I, for example, I don't know if people remember, I've done a video on Life by Jen. And my approach to Life by Jen was nothing close to this because even though, yes, there's a lot to be critical of, I don't think she's as vile as they are. I really don't. And Chantel's the most vile. Don't get me wrong. She's way worse than Amber. But when Chant Amber sits there crying about fat shaming, please, you don't hesitate to fat shame people. You're just mad that people are better at it than you are. And half the time you can't handle what comes back at you. I've made it clear. I don't care if people fat shame me or talk about my looks. Because nine times out of 10, it's not a bitch who can even step to me. And it's probably someone be hiding behind a sock account. Or a creator who really should like think twice. Um, I don't care about that. I make it very clear. Just don't make it racist. That's it. Just don't make it racist. And also, let me sprinkle a little, like, let's not, let's stop with the threats, you know? But nine times ten, I don't give a fuck. Even if someone beautiful drags me, I don't care. I don't care. I know how to clear a bitch without a second thought. But Amber, she likes to throw rocks and hide her hands because when you go at her, the truth hurts. That's why when she sat there, what was it, last year? She was like, when she was responding to Jen, oh, it's not fat shaming if it's if it's true. Okay, Kentucky Seal. That's why I call her Kentucky Seal. Okay, Kentucky Seal. Bet. That's all you needed to tell me. I don't know why you would sit on the internet and say that. I don't know why. I'm, and don't, get, don't get me wrong. Even though Amber is not as problematic as Chantel right now, Amberlynn's still Amberlynn. I still don't like that bitch. You're still as big as a seal. I don't forget every, I did not forget the things you, this is the same Amber who was in um, Natter's chat not too long ago telling him to be a reaction channel. The one who dragged Chantel left and right, you want him to be a reaction channel? Are you sure? Cause he drives your friend for filth, bitch. That's why I always knew their friendship was always fake. It was always fake. Did you want him reacting to you? Is that what it is? You're looking for a crumb of attention? Remember, Amber used to Fuqua flex all over the internet. I, I give the reaction channels content. Uh, no, duh. No one ever denied that. I'm their boss. Wrong, bitch. We both help each other out, unfortunately. And now look at you. Looking for scraps. Looking for attention. Amber Lynn um, actually did some type of like Q&A thing. I think on Snapchat, like, who would you block, marry, or kiss, I think. And she said she would block Zachary and Michael, marry young dumb honey bun and kiss me. I thought I was so vile and bitch, you think I'd sit here and talk about, I want to kiss someone I think who is vile. You think I'd sit up here and talk about, yeah, I'd kiss tequila titties. Fuck that. Fuck him. Yeah. I'd kiss peanut. Fuck her. Yeah. I'd kiss next. Fuck him. Oh, but when you need attention and the views don't look the same and that's all that you bring to the table is your money, I guess you want our attention again, huh? Oh, I don't know why Amberlynn would ever, ever, ever get this desperate, but here we are. Bitch, if I ever come back to you, I'll come back. Attitude still the same and I'll still be fat shaming your big ass because you ain't shit. Don't think I ever forgot. Anyways... <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. But that that's not enough for her because she got to find ways that she thinks she's better than Didi. And thank you for the super chat, boo. Thank you, no problem. Like I said, and also, I just want to say this. Y'all don't have to thank me. Y'all don't have to thank me. Um, this is something I should be doing. <laughs> And this is something that has should be done across the platform. And I appreciate you guys thanking me, and I, I definitely appreciate it. But 
don't thank me, please. There's a lot I still have to learn and there's more I want to do, but honestly, there's certain conversations I'm scared to have because obviously, you know, I'm ignorant to a lot of things, but um, y'all don't need to thank me. Y'all really don't. Can we, I can't even watch the videos done about her anymore. Like um, today, the only reason I finished Karina Kaboom's video is because I was away from the TV. I wasn't even listening. I just let it play because I had to go do something. I'm like, oh, let me make sure I give my girl the watch time, you know, the watch hours and shit. And I walked away. I didn't even. And that's nothing to Karina. It's just I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. Even though she said recently, like. Like she, uh, Becky was helping her bathe in the bed. Like, bitch, we've been new. Duh. What's your point? What's your point? She, Amber swore up and down at almost 600 pounds that she was reaching certain areas and able to stand and get the fuck out of here. We knew. Welcome to the club, dumbass. We've been new. Between, yeah, the three of you. You're fucking pathetic. Smith Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know? Hold on. Let me make sure everybody's clear and understands, you know, my names. Tequila Titties is uh, gaining ground. The man who was, the man who still lives 20 minutes away, who's threatening me, still ain't pull up because, bitch, I'm still here. But yeah, for anyone who is new to my channel, Tequila Titties is the name that I give a man who is also very comfortable threatening women and only arguing with women because when he argues with a man, that man folds like the bitch that he is. So just in case you ever get confused, Tequila Titties is gaining ground. Um, about two years ago, he started drama. He wanted to cancel me. He wanted to destroy my channel. Literally the words in um, DMs that were released about him. Um, and it turned around, <laughs> destroyed his own channel kept spiraling a lot of people fell for his shit because you know i'm so easily ignored and now you know he still dabbles in a little drama just behind sock accounts like the discounted life channel on youtube that's him <laughs> been new but um his other bigoted friend outed him and uh recently he started to pull it back a little bit because his bigoted friend who's been terminated apparently has dms that don't you know it's uh, probably not a good idea if they get released Although I think we all know what would be in it. So, you know, Tequila Titties is still out here, still stressed, still a fan. Oh, I remember that day. Can we use this to further cancel her? Listen, bitch, I know I lose subs and I keep losing subs. But guess what? The back end of my channel looks good. I get a lot of support. I get a lot of support. And my channel's not dead. Yours is. I just like to remind people from time to time who Tequila Titties is. And trust me, he's not the only problematic one, but he's still around. I see him around. Uh, it's such a beautiful, it's just so beautiful to see karma play out. Oh, and for anyone who doesn't know, he hid his sub count because he lost a lot of subs. He lost a lot of subs. I mean, I lost a lot of subs, but I mean, I had the subs to lose. Just saying. But he lost a lot of subs and now his subs are hidden because he claims he doesn't care about YouTube. But if you didn't care about YouTube, you wouldn't be hiding your subs. But yeah, tequila titties. He drinks a lot. And he got a botched titty job. <laughs> Remind me to never go to his doctor. <laughs> never. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you. I, I don't know. I just, you know, when people thank you for something you should be doing, I guess. That's why, that's what I mean. But I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Listen, when it, wherever is drama, he'll... he'll <laughs> He'll be around. Thank you so much again for the generous super chat. I appreciate you guys. And the people who stuck with me these last couple of years through all that damn drama when I was telling the truth the whole time, I appreciate you so much. So, so much. You guys have no idea. No one is going to give a fuck about your channel. You know that, right? Have fun. Enjoy your 10 minutes, Dee Dee. You need some fucking groceries or what? You look really small. You need some groceries or what? You need groceries. He got one good check. You he lost his damn mind. You need some bastorma, baby. You need some fucking bastorma, baby. 
No, I'm not doxing. She said I could. She Thank gave me permission. You. So you. shut up. She said I could. You come pick me up from zero address. Thank you, Matt. Do you want me to give you the address? the address? I have the address. Where's the address? Do you want me to give it to you? Okay. Where is it? It's not even her address. So she was trying to argue that Didi said she could do it, but Didi actually never spoke up and it still doesn't make it right. But I obviously I did, I muted all of that because I don't want to be responsible for their information being out there, even if they're doxxed, you know. I'm just saying, where's the lie? Because <laughs> if I got a titty job and them things grew back like that. <laughs> I'd be pissed. Thank you for the super chat. No, and trust me, he's always We're laughing. fine. Oh, we're fine. Don't worry. We're fine. Have fun spending all your fucking vacation at the trap with the club. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, right. I'll remember that when you ask me for fuck. So at the hotel, you didn't ask me for anything? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And she's still delivered. I'm so confused on what she's trying to say. Yeah, he's going to ask because he knows you're always going to send it. She still sent him, what was it, 250 or 300, whatever it was when she was in that hotel. And you know what? I'm not surprised he did that. This is the same bitch who sat in that hotel talking about, I'm a boss bitch. I'd give him $20,000 if he just treated, like, if he's a hustler, he's a user. Of course he saw that and was like, hey, by the way, can I get $300? He just saw this drunk, desperate, big bitch sitting on live stream talking about she, he would give, she would give him $20,000 if he wanted it. What did she expect from a user who's a bum? Oh, to worship her. To see her value? Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. God, she's stupid. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Fuck off. Fuck exactly, the both Beyonce. of you. And what the fuck is he smoking? Go see the fucking Moroccan guy there. I will. Now that I think about it, no, the think about it what if they use cigarettes as code for something else? Because what cigarette actually, what cigarettes cost $150? And that just hit me right now. Because the whole time I'm like, maybe he's buying cartons. Cartons don't cost that much. What cigarettes cost $150? Cigarettes is code for something. Because her dumbass posted that screenshot on her community post, what was it, last week or two weeks ago, when she sent him $150? Or he needed $150? Yeah, cigarettes don't cost $150. Granted, I don't know the price of cigarettes in Canada. I should actually lead with that. I forgot about that part. But, oh, in Canada, they might? Okay. That might be it. Maybe in Canada. That's a good point. That's a good point. I guess that's a lot of money. That's a lot. The of Moroccan money. guy is in Ottawa. Oh, the Moroccan okay. thank guy. You, I already fucked him. Thank you very much. And he's more of a man than you. He don't shower, so he don't. Oh, uh, blah blah okay. blah blah. Yes. Man, God. Ooh. Don't worry. That's a don't lot. Worry. Don't worry. You know how? You know what we do today? Go watch my last stream. Yeah, yeah, gross, gross looking oh. onion soup. Actually, I've been asking you to make onion soup forever. Oh, how nice of you to make it for me. Uh-huh, he made it for hey, someone Hey, you have company. You have a woman there you should be fucking. If you go to Montreal, you come by yourself, you drive Hey! Oh, jeez, Didi, I love being ignored, too. When I'm there, we're having sex, not watching someone else. But you, do you put vanilla in it, too? Yeah, I said you one thing. I don't go for it. I mean, I'm asking you this and this. If it's up to you. Honey, this is what she's Use doing when she's over there. Huh? Use the honey because you used it last time. Huh? No, honey. I will eat both. I'm not I know, okay. So as, honey. as a person, because me, I don't matter. Yeah, I'd rather ch keep everything the same as you did last time. <laughs> yeah, I think Chantel forgets when she's over there, when she was actively over there, she's just a heavy breathing tripod. She's his Uber driver, and she's the grocery delivery person. Yeah, I'm sure they have sex or she slobs on his knob, especially based on the fact that she came on live stream crying because he didn't want to play with her titties. But um, ma'am, you're his tripod. You're his editor. 
You're his YouTube manager. You're his Uber driver. You're his sugar mama. That is what you do. You're there for a reason. And it's always to benefit him. So this whole idea of, oh, you guys are over there. When I'm over there, we're having sex. Um, Most of the time you're doing something for him. Like, Chantel's so stupid. The way yeah, you don't do story. anything for me. After that's everything exactly. I do for you. Here's the thing, Kimmy, because that's where she thinks her value is. Because remember when she was like, um, going back and forth for trying to um, criticize FFG and me? I remember this specifically when it was FFG and separately me, but she was like, who's having sex with you? And one time I think she said something like she didn't believe FFG had a partner or something like that. And that's because that's where she believes a woman's value is. She truly believes being dicked down is where your value is. And that's not the case. And let me be the one to tell you fat bitches get play. Fat bitches get play. Chantel's the one out here desperate and clinging on to anything that will even look her way or even take a sniff out of her without throwing up. That is not the case for all obese women. Please, big bitches get play. It's never been an issue for me. I doubt it's been an issue for any other reaction channel. But Chantel really thinks because we're not out here parading people in front of the camera, that means we don't get play. Are you stupid, bitch? You're the desperate one. And even if people believe that, let's just say, because I've seen, I've heard it before, like, oh, who would sleep with Charlie? Bitch, believe it. Y'all go with that. No one would sleep with me. Absolutely. I don't have to come up here and talk about what I do with my pussy. It's my pussy. It is my pussy. I do what I want. I lay down with who I want safely, with consent, responsibly. And I enjoy myself. I don't have to come up here and prove a goddamn thing to anybody. I'm a private person who lives a private life. I'm not Chantel who thinks the only value to women is showing that someone's willing to be your fucking partner. I could be in a relationship tomorrow if I wanted to. I could be. I could have been in one yesterday. I am single because I should be single. I got a lot to work through. But when I need what I need, <laughs> it's taken care of. That will never be a problem. No matter my size. Shit, it wasn't even a problem when I was 400 pounds, which, which I know. I was housebound. I was housebound. And still. Chantel's pathetic. She's desperate. She doesn't know her value. But I know my value. I've said this time and time again. I have prime pussy. And I'm very aware, very aware of that. And nobody going to tell me different. Okay. Chantal has pissy pussy, so she doesn't understand the difference. And that's why your crotch looks the way it does. I have prime pussy, bitch. Get on my level. Anyways. So yeah, you would say that, fucking Dee Dee. You lick his asshole day and night. You would say that, Dee Dee. You would say that, Dee Dee. You fucking brown-nosing, dumb, fucking fat bitch. Whatever. Your head looks. I don't know. It looks really nice on that big iPad you're using. If I don't make you anything, why you buy this gift? Because of what? Because the deal? No deal. I got this with no deal. Please. What deal? What is he talking about? Are you really this stalking insane for a guy who doesn't even want to have sex with you for two thousand? I honestly rather believe it's all scripted. Do you guys remember this? Ready, set, release. It's. Guys, there's more to it than that. Just don't even believe what you hear. Don't listen to him. Like, he's no, he's not. He's not being truthful at all. At all. At all. And what happened? So he brought up this deal, and he's brought it up in the past where he claims that Chantel offered him, or they might have agreed to paying him $2,000 a month to continue sleeping with her. Someone did ask her, her that, and based on the way she responded, there was some sort of conversation around $2,000 and them together. I don't know what that was, but based on the way she answered that question, and this was back in December when someone asked her that, clearly there was some sort of conversation of Chantel Natter and two thousand dollars, which is fucking pathetic, which is pathetic. Spreading me open, and I love this pussy, huh? You fucking full of shit. You're full of shit. 
Ramona, be nice. I like when I see you soft like that, I'm not gonna talk to you. I will talk to you nice. You love Ramona. Oh, you do. I know you do. I'll introduce you. Red Nate thing. and Jules. Oh. Hold on. I want to play this. And same, same red. We're going to rewind this because a follower of mine on Twitter actually brought my attention to the Nate and Jules thing because it didn't mean anything to me when she said Nate and Jules. I, I don't know. I thought they were on a Netflix show. I didn't know what she was referring to. And then someone brought this clip to my attention. And we're going to talk about it for a second. You love Ramona. Oh, you do. I know you do. I'll introduce you. Nate and Jules. Nate and Jules. So that reference is to Euphoria. I know, don't throw tomatoes just yet. I plan to eventually watch. I just have a lot to catch up on. I didn't know that. I don't watch Euphoria. I don't watch Euphoria, so I didn't know the reference. The reason the Nate and Jules reference is important when it comes to her being disgusting right now, Jules is a trans woman. I had to Google that because someone wrote that to me on Twitter and I was just like, who, what? And they were saying it's about euphoria. And I was just like, oh yeah, I mean, she has been referencing euphoria, but who's trans? I'm so confused. And then I had to Google and, um, please, Jules. Yes, Jules is so if you want, you could do the research yourself. Jules is a trans um a trans woman. It's a trans woman who is on the show. So she's saying this being fully transphobic. And a lot of people would have missed it like me because I don't watch the show. So her saying Nate and Jules, I'm like, Nate and Jules, okay. Until someone brought it to my attention, she's referring to the trans woman who's on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. And it went right over my head because I'm just like, she's just saying names. What, what does it matter, you know? And so whoever did bring it to my attention, I forgot your name on Twitter. I apologize. But if it wasn't for them bringing that to my attention, I would have never connected the two. Do we need more um, examples of her being transphobic? No, I think she's displayed that enough. But I just wanted to make sure people know if you've ever heard her say Nate and Jules, that's what she's referring to. And I believe if I read it correctly, again, I don't watch the show. I think Nate might like Jules or Jules might like Nate. I don't know. Someone else who watches the show could fill you in unless you don't want spoilers. But yeah, that's what she's referencing when she says Nate and Jules. You see Didi as sexy and you are honestly going to make fun of me? You're going to make fun of me? Oh, okay, Amanda. Thank you. I did not know that. Okay. Because I don't, okay. Chantel is a piece of dog shit. Keep in mind, this is the same woman a couple of hours ago that she, she wants to be there for. She wants to help get her home if she needs to. This is the Didi that Chantel's worried about? This is the Didi? Okay. All right. Okay. Looks presentable. Yeah, she's a fucking office person, of course. I look presentable. Here's if she looks presentable. You want to look fuckable. Not presentable. <clears throat> you don't want your girlfriend to look like your fucking bank or teller. I just put that clip just as a reminder because Chantel really thinks she has some sort of sex appeal. And granted, there's going to be people who find her attractive. I mean, do your thing. But, like, she thinks she looks fuckable. Is it the crusty panties? The unbrushed teeth? The dingy-ass hair prior to her... Um, Cutting it all. I don't know what about Chantel screams fuckable. But then again, I'm not trying to fuck her. So I guess I would never see it. But fuckable. Chantel and fuckable. Okay. All right. 
What do I know? Oh, yeah, tell Didi she needs to go to the clinic. Are they back on? I need to say that. <laughs> right? Bitch. This melty bitch, I swear to God. Can you fucking believe this melty friggin' bitch? Oh, man. I swear I would fucking smack her. So, I swear I would fucking smack her. Keep in mind, she's also saying Didi needs to go to a clinic. <laughs> And Didi was correct. She's saying this to thousands of people and she ha herself hasn't even gotten results yet. Uh, at the time, she didn't get results back yet. Um, not only was she wrong, she doesn't have an STI, but she said I would smack her. And days later, she wants to protect Didi and take her home. Yeah, we'll, again, Saturday, we'll be going over all of that live stream, that manipulative bullshit of a live stream. She wanted to smack Didi a few days ago, but today she wants to save Didi. Save Didi. Help her out. Keep her away from Natter. Bitch, please. If Didi was to get in that car, the way Didi would go missing. Didi would go missing. Didi, you better not get in that damn car. Oh, yeah. 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 Fuck you both. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Didi. Fuck you. Fuck you. You already know, overthinker. Chantel is all bark and no bite. This is the same bitch who won't get out the car if she sees a toddler walking by. Please. Could you imagine what Chantel does if she sees teenagers walking by? Asshole. <laughs> and thank you for the super chat, boo. You shaved my head and you're going to make fun of it? Like, yes, stupid. You, you pay him. <laughs> yeah, you're a bitch. Now. Good. Enough is enough. You were sleeping at my man's house, you dumb fucking idiot. Chantal was my girlfriend for one week. That was not her man. That is not her man. That is her bum ass sugar baby that she continues to pay in hopes that he will love he will love her. Didi doesn't owe her anything. Don't touch my blanket. Fuck off. Where is me Ramona now? Fuck off, you Natter. Fuck it's off. Brilliant? Fuck you. You gave me the green, you fucking cheating piece of shit. And you still fucking him. You cheated with Didi you and you well. gave us. You cheated with Didi. You have. Go to the clinic, Didi. You have the clap. Go to the clinic, Didi. You have the clip. You film tell you, you fucking, fucking brick house, ugly piece of shit, bitch. Didi, go to the clinic. Go to the clinic. One second, because you're order. Go to the clinic. Go to the clinic. I'm not your man, fucking idiot. So you weren't with me for nine months, but you took everything from me, you stupid asshole. I'm not your man. Are you? No, you're not my man now, and you never will be. You never will be my man. You will never have that privilege. You will never have the privilege of being my man, ever, 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 never. Go Listen. to the clinic, you fucking brown nosing bitch. The fucking STI clinic called me, you dumb fucking bitch. It shows how she is. You gave it to me already once. You gave me gonorrhea once. I want to remind everyone, Didi had a point. She's sitting there saying that to thousands of people and she didn't even have results back yet. Because guess what? They came back negative. She didn't have an STI. And Didi's sexual health is none of her business. It's none of her business, but she sat there in front of thousands of people telling them that Didi has the clap. Didi needs to go get checked. And the truth is Didi made it clear that she has nothing. She has no reason to get checked for anything. Chantel was beyond reckless in this stream. She looks like a fool and that's why it's deleted. And let me remind everyone that community post, she only ap apologized to Natter, not Didi even though she's been dragging Didi and calling her all these things and dirty and she needs to get checked when she was always fine. I would have. Mm.
Whitney, thank you so much for being a member for three months. And she is a clown. She is the biggest clown. Imagine sitting your big, bald ass on live stream to say all this only to have to delete it because you broke so many terms of service. And then the next day post that you were actually negative and you had to apologize to that damn bum. What a mess. Oh, exactly, Kyle. Thank you for being a member for nine months. He was never her man. It's always been transactional. That's why on the second day, her big ass, her desperate big ass was sitting there like, you don't have to go to work. I'll pay for your day's work. And that's when he knew he had a big fish, a desperate fish. All it takes is for you to poke Chantel and she is putty in your hands. Oh, and don't forget, you should be a man of color because, you know, that's that's all she wants. <laughs> You're a fucking cheater because you talk to thousands of women all day long on fucking messenger. Desperate old women like Dee Dee. Yeah, she has. A, I should mention that I used the clip in the beginning of the live stream. She has strep. That's what she has. She has strep. But she was sitting there telling Dee Dee all these things and. Ugly who can't get anyone to fuck them like Dee Dee. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm fat and bald, but come on. Oh, let me play this back just a little bit. I need you to really get the essence of this clip. Clinic called me, you dumb fucking bitch. It shows how she is. You gave it to me already once. You gave me gonorrhea once. Because you're a fucking cheater. Because you talk to thousands of women all day long on fucking exactly, messenger. Casey. Desperate old women like Dee Dee. Ugly, who there. can't get anyone to See fuck that. them like Dee Dee. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm fat and bald, but come on, I'm sure I can find somebody that I don't have to freaking pay for. I'm not crying over you. Yeah. Fuck you that shit. Chantel was describing herself. Because keep in mind, this is the same Chantel who recently was like, Does anybody want to be my sugar baby? Because Chantel knows. <laughs> Chantel knows what's up. And even though, yes, I feel like there's someone out there for everybody, but Chantel knows exactly what she looks like. She knows she's catfishing in most of those online profiles, taking pictures from the damn sky, using filters probably stronger than the one she uses in her live streams. Chantel knows when those filters are removed, when those filters are removed, her third chin drops and about 50 pounds is added. And let's not talk about that second stomach. Chantel knows what she looks like and she knows what she presents online. So yeah, she is desperate. She found a man who's willing to poke her a few times and she's trying to hold on to him for dear life. And if she can't have him, no one can. Because imagine finding a man who's willing to lift two stomachs, a fupa, and fuck you while you're pissy and stinky. She can't find somebody else like that. This man was really fucking her raw, as dirty as she is. And yes, Natter's nasty too, please. It's not like Natter's clean. No, you were fucking her. The fact that this man sat on live stream and said, when she comes through the door, I still make her go shower. If I have to do that, I don't want you. I don't want you. The only person I want to tell to go shower when they walk through that door will be my kids, not my partner. If I have to say that to you, at that point, I am raising you. I do not want to raise my partner. I want to raise the children that we have together, not you two. I will feed you, you know, stuff like that. But I'm not raising you. That's ridiculous. So, yes, Chantel, you're holding on to... <laughs> she is holding on to this with dear life because she knows at the end of the day what it really looks like to be back out there attempting to date. The money wasn't enough. <laughs> the editing wasn't enough. The iPad wasn't enough. The track shoots wasn't enough. The seven, $70 bottle of wine wasn't enough. Because Chantel was never going to be enough. Because Chantel never knew her worth to begin with. Because she stayed with Natter. But let me be real. And let me be very clear. They deserve each other. They should stay together. Because... As long as they're together, they can't be out there being predators and harming other people. So I'm all for Chantel and Nada being together. I don't give a fuck about them. Let them eat each other up. Let them eat each other alive. It ain't my life. And it damn sure better not be the life of anyone that is watching this live stream. Because as much as I laugh at this clown, everyone should know. Do not do what she does. Do the opposite. Have more self-worth. Value yourself a lot more. And... 
It's not horrible being single. Do you know, I love the fact that, <laughs> I love the fact sometimes I don't have to think, I mean, granted I have family I have to think about, but just not having to think about anyone else, not having to make someone else a priority. I'm supposed to be the main priority and obviously my family. That shit is nice sometimes. It's not that big of a deal being single. Get you a nice fuck buddy if you can handle it emotionally. If you can't like Chantel, don't do it. Get you a nice fuck buddy and keep it pushing. Enjoy your fucking life. But Chantel can't understand that because Chantel can't be alone with her own thoughts. It's pathetic. I have no reason to go to a clinic. If you do, you go ahead. Whatever happened in Windsor, you don't know. I have no reason. Now, Dee, do you know nothing happened in Windsor? Now, I'll, I'll give her that. You know, she has no reason to go to a clinic. That's nobody's business. But stop saying Windsor as if somebody fucked Chantel in Windsor. Nobody did that. Cut it out. Um. Thank you, Nine Lives with Sandy. Thank you so much for being a member for 10 months. Yep, that she Chantel said it herself. All you have to do is fake love her. That's it. She'll give you the world. It's 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 pretty sad. Natter, you were gonna come. Dee Dee, you were second choice. He was gonna come to fucking Windsor. Dee Dee, you dumb cunt. He was going to come with me. Shut the fuck up. Shut your ugly fucking mouth up, bitch. Shut up. Shut up, or I'm driving there right the fuck now. I will drive there right the fuck now. Shut up. You have to have sex to get gonorrhea, you dumb idiot. You look like a fucking... That bitch didn't go anywhere. She was talking all that shit. She never went anywhere. She's all mouth. It's very pathetic, but this is Chantel. Are we surprised? Are we surprised we're not? <laughs> she had all that mouth. All that mouth, Chantel. When I tell you, the day somebody pull up on that bitch, I will not feel bad. I will not feel bad. Okay. So I do see the comments about the community posts. All right. I got you. I got you. Let's see. How do I pull this up? Um, share screen. Okay. The way I forget, like I lost my mind. Um, okay. So we have a community tab post here. Um, so you want to play show screenshots tonight? <laughs> Okay, so can someone explain to me why she's saying this? Who's threatening to show screenshots? Is it Natter? Because I haven't been watching, so is it Natter? I don't know if that's the case, but we could check out the comments in the meantime. Yep, Dubs TV, exactly, exactly, exactly. You get a like. Uh, so KB saying, I'm ready. I got my stacks ready. <laughs> I got my stacks ready. We gonna be in this bitch. <laughs> uh, I would, I would like, but you remember, I can't, I can't. Exactly. Exactly. Taco Bell. Exactly. She always does. Uh, Juliet, she'll be right back. But yeah, apparently we've got screenshots coming. We'll see. We will see. We have screenshots uh, screenshots coming. As that comment said, it always makes Chantel looks worse. It, Chantel always looks worse when she posts these screenshots because she looks that much she looks that mo um, much more pathetic and um, it doesn't help her in any way. I don't know why she thinks it helps her, but it doesn't. Uh <laughs> Exactly. She's talking to a screen. She's she's honestly the definition of a keyboard warrior. Chantel has had a lot of mouth, has said a lot of things about different people's family. And not once do I believe for a second Chantel has ever said an ounce of that to someone's face. And if Chantel saw someone coming that she did say that to their face, she'd run, well, waddle the other way while calling the cops. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Listen, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Thank you for the super chat. I don't blame you. Having that peace of mind. And of course, you know, obviously you raised kids. Having that peace of mind, being on your own. Listen, Chantel can't be by herself because she hates herself. And that's the truth. Because even remember a few months back, well, it was probably like two months back, when she was making a soup for Natter and Natter was upset, um, upstairs sick or whatever. And she still went live to cook for a friend and she's not home. 
to me, one I know people just looked at it like, oh, she was making soup or whatever. But the way I looked at it, obviously, I'm not a professional or anything like that. It just showed how much Chantel can't be by herself. This man's upstairs. He's probably, you know, laid out, sick. And all you have to do is sit in that kitchen and make the soup. But she couldn't do that because she couldn't be alone. She struggles being alone. Imagine you're at your friend's house. It ain't her man. She's at her friend's house, this bum ass man's house. And you can't sit there and just play a YouTube video or play some music and cook the soup. Just make the soup. But she couldn't do that. She could not be alone. She depends on the internet. She depends on the companionship of the internet more than people realize. Chantel is addicted to live streaming. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Thank you for the super chat. I have no idea how she's better than TD. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Chantal truly just thinks she's better than everyone. It is. Oh. Uh, Thank you, Roland. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Listen, little by little, I'm going to convince everyone. I'm going to convince everyone. Little by little. I feel like I'm changing a few opinions, and I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I would love that. Stringy. Thank you for the super chat. From you, you, you disgusting ghetto got no whore. This ghetto bitch always want to call someone ghetto. Chantel has never let go of that word ever since I call her ghetto. And Chantel has some nerve being a crackhead online chasing this man's dick who's given her nothing but the clap and a headache. <laughs> but she's a ghetto, got no whore. There's nothing about D that I have seen that is actually ghetto or even can present as ghetto. Chantel is ghetto as hell. This whole live stream is ghetto. All these past few months have been ghetto. This woman came online and said she got chased around the gas station like the crackhead that she is. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Chantal, anyways, <laughs> thank you again. Thank you for the super chat, Tangerine, saying there ain't nothing wrong with being single. Enjoy your single season. Because once you're no longer single, if you choose to start a family, whatever, that's done. Enjoy the single season. Be selfish. Love yourself. Don't be Chantel chasing around dick and paying for it, but ghetto got no hurt. Chantel is, well, no, I can't call her a hoe because she barely gets any dick. She got to pay for it. Chantel's a ghetto got no sugar mama. Yeah, that's what you are. That's what you are. Oh, another community post? <laughs> Don't tell me twice. Hold on. I'm not seeing it. Am I tripping? Is it, was it just posted? Is that why? Oh, she's talking about testing the stream on OnlyFans. Girl, shut up. She's testing the stream on OnlyFans. She, for whatever reason, after all these years, still doesn't have a laptop. And I, from my understanding, she was struggling live streaming. No shocker. I don't know who expected great quality content from her, but you know. Ghetto got no horror. You probably fuck your roommate on the couch. That's why you fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate. You fucked your roommate and gave me gonorrhea and now you're giving it to Dee Dee. You're homophobic. That's really sad. Fuck you. I just want to remind everyone, uh, his roommate's a man. There's, n first of all, if they were sleeping together, it's none of our business, but there's never been anything said that would for some reason, give any of this weight. But of course, a homophobic is going to say, you slept with your male roommate and you gave me and Dee Dee got a real... Girl, shut up. Oh, yes, Elle, thank you for the super chat. Yes, it was a little while ago, but you could watch on replay. You can watch on replay. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But yeah, uh, those crusty ass panties. <laughs> Thank you. You were supposed to come to Windsor and Dee Dee's second best because you didn't come to Windsor because I didn't pick your ass up. So you had to call Dee Dee to come and fucking stroke your little ego all week, huh? That's really good, Natter. The sausage is so good, Natter. Ooh, it's so good. Eat some more, Dee Dee, you fucking bitch. Keep fat shaming me. Keep it up. I think you fat shame me and you're mean. Waffles reacting? So let's go with Waffles. 
Ruth ist so geil, ne? Ruth ist so geil, ne? I played all those clips as a reminder because remember people said early on because we have eyes and ears that uh he fat shames her <laughs> she went on and on and say we don't understand her you know their dynamic and all these other things so I don't know why she's shocked now keep in mind when he was going to react to her he said the buffalo's reacting I don't give a fuck that's funny and um now they're going to the zoo Keep it by it. He was sleeping with her, so he's a clown for even making those comments. He's still a clown, but uh, still was funny. <laughs> We're going to the zoo. When I tell you this man, what? Natter picked the right one because what I tell you, this man, he really tried. We're going where? <laughs> we are going where? <laughs> I would have him repeat that 10 times as he's tied to the back of a Mack truck being dragged down the street in Gatineau. Repeat that, bitch. Honk, honk. Repeat that. I couldn't hear you. You were going where? In Minecraft. In Minecraft. His skinny ass would have been strapped up to something. Repeat what the fuck you said on that live stream in front of thousands of people. Repeat it to the whole neighborhood. I want to hear you loud and proud. I don't give a fuck if you're you're being scraped up on the streets. I want to hear, oh, your leg fell off? I don't care. Your knee scraped? I don't care. You lost an elbow? I don't care. Your shoulder disconnected? I don't care. I want the whole neighborhood to repeat that. Huh? You were reacting to what? You were going where? To the zoo? Okay, well, now you're going to the hospital after this, you little bitch. Again, in Minecraft, because... Yeah, that game has so many upgrades. It's wild. It's turned into Mortal Kombat out here in East Street. Like, it's crazy. You guys should check it out. It was just released. I don't, I don't know. know. You fuck with your ex. Your mother gets fucked. Your mother mm -hmm. gets fucked. You with your, your stepfather. Don't talk about my fucking mother, because if you do, I swear to fucking God, you will regret it. You talk about my mom one more time, you will fucking regret it. You. He's talked about her mom about 10 times now so at what point are we gonna follow through and uh do something because the fact that he's able to talk about her mom the second time or even the third we're like on the fourth or fifth at this point you will regret it bad bad you will regret it bad try it this guy's a liar no, don't. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, Minecraft is fun, right? I'm telling y'all, everyone doesn't understand the different upgrades. That's... I've been trying to tell y'all the new Minecraft, the upgrades are everything. Everything. You better upgrade that virtual game that is not reality in... at all. I just want to note that, you know, overhearing all the yelling from my room mm -hmm. is annoying. Nobody's coming out of this looking good. <laughs> Nobody. I know. Honestly, everyone involved looks like assholes here. Including you. <laughs> Pete! Come here. Sorry, never mind. I'm just... Yeah, he was Were nice. you sleeping? Yeah, nice. No. He was nice. Oh, nice foot and tie. Tell him off, tell him off. And tie. Just he was fuck nice. off, you. Just fuck off. Everybody's here. So while Pete is, you know, Speaking some facts here and making some sense, I just want to remind everyone, Pete has been a part of this for some time and he's grown. He could simply say no, but he is correct in what he's saying. No one in this situation looks good. <laughs> you would be far, far better off. Smoking. Thank you so much, boo. Turning this off, blocking him. And saying good goodbye. And just forgetting that he existed. I know. <laughs> like you'd be better off both emotionally. Even hear him. You'd be better off emotionally, and you'd be better off in terms of just how you look to people. Like seriously, just fucking turn him off. That is all you need to do. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's all that's needed. <laughs> that's it. Over and done with. That's true, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so peaceful. And, like, 
Holy shit. Yeah, and now just talk about fucking, I don't know. Farts. Nietzsche or something. Listen, he is correct in what he's saying. Like, that is the responsible thing to do. That is the wiser thing to do. As a viewer who is invested in watching crackheads argue online and live their messy, toxic toxic life online, I was so pissed at Pete's. I wanted to throw one of the cats at him. Move the fuck out of the way and let these crackheads fight. However, that is the messy side of me. What he was saying was accurate. He was right. She should do all these things that she's not going to do. So we're going to be right back to it probably tonight. But when I was watching this, I was actually upset with Pete. It's like, let the fucking crackheads fight. What is wrong with you? Go take a shower. God damn. <laughs> Catsy, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much in the super chat. You know what's so funny? Some people actually think like I'm talking about it. And they don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so funny. It's so funny. I'm just so happy you guys get it. Because at first, well, no, there's sometimes I'll get comments like, oh, did you play Minecraft? No, I don't play Minecraft. Oh, let me fix my hair. No, I don't play Minecraft. Um, <laughs> thank you, Yes, Kicking Alaskan. Yeah, yeah. It's so sad. Thank you for the super chat, guys. I appreciate you. Peachy! <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, okay. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Listen, just I've said this time and time again, and I mean every bit of it. I will always, always, always appreciate the super chats, the members, anything that you guys are coming out of your pocket towards me and my channel. Always support. Thank you. But keep in mind, y'all don't have to do this. Giving the stream a thumbs up, that's support. Watching, clicking, that's support. I appreciate you. This is very generous. I appreciate you, but never feel like you got to give more. Nah, this is free. I appreciate all the support I get, but remember, a thumbs up still means a lot. And you being here still means a lot. You know, it's supporting it. <laughs> Don't ever feel pressured to I think give I was just like any so creator like, money. Ooh, That's my point. Like angry and like in the moment. Thank you again. <laughs> you know. Oh, I have a fucking headache. Oh. By the way, for everyone else who's watching, you're welcome. Pete, shut your ass <laughs> up and go back in your room. You're right, Pete. That's so much more peaceful with the TV turned off. Hmm. And no Natter yelling. Bye, Natter. Have a nice life with Dee Dee. I'm sure you'll be nice and bored. I mean, worry. you're probably right, Caleb, but I was in bed. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it. You're probably right. She'll provide lots of gas station booze just for you on her care and office budget. Remember, this is the woman that she just streamed about. This is the woman she wanted to help. Okay. Dee Dee has I, so much class. That's sort of part of, what I, part of why I got tired and came in here to turn the whole thing off. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm... I feel like I'm going to throw up. That was not fun. And that's the stream, y'all. That is a stream. Look, my hair all messed up at the end. That is the stream. He came in, Pete's came in towards the end and got her together, even though she has, she had said way too much by then. And do you think Pete's is going to talk to Chantel privately? Because I think someone tried to bring up that criticism, like, oh, you don't talk to, bitch, you don't know what I say to anyone I know privately. What I know is uh, Pete's won't be saying a damn thing to her privately. Not a damn thing. All that homophobic language, all that transphobia, all that shit. All that shit. But he's an ally. He's fighting the good fight on Twitter. And don't get me wrong, tweets mean something. I don't want to downplay play tweets. It means something. But if you can't correct the people that are in your real life, like, come on. Just saying. But yeah, that's the stream, guys. Let me just check before I get off, just in case something pops off, because Lord knows. So I'm confused. So she's talking about sharing screenshots. 
And then she's talking about going on OnlyFans to stream. So therefore, she's trying to get people to sign up for her OnlyFans. Is that where she's going to drop the screenshots? That's bullshit. What's what's matter doing? Oh, he's not live. I have a feeling Natter's live is maybe entertaining. We'll see. We'll see. But if Chantel, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, well. I don't know what's happening. But either way, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Michael. You know I like to talk too damn much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, guys. I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I was trying to hold out to see if anything happens, but I have a feeling it won't. So we might just have to pick it up on Saturday because we have a lot to, to cover. We definitely have a lot to cover. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Remember. <laughs> Be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. And if all else fails, do not spend over $4,000 on someone only to have them drag you on the iPad that you bought them and using the lube <laughs> that you bought them with somebody else while cooking for somebody else. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be better than the people that we watch, even if it means being better to be. Love y'all. Later. On my type, typically, if I'm looking for somebody, like, attracted, tall enough, in really good shape. A nice jaw. Chiseled features, black, like dark hair, dark eyes. Smells good. It is gross. I'm a gross person. Let me be gross. <laughs> Just don't come near me. Don't fuck me. Nice hands. Like works good with their hands. It's just like the hypocrisy of it. You think I have no standards at all? Well, no low, but. After I shit at his house, I bend over in my lingerie and say, wipe me, daddy. <coughs> well, like, I'm not the only person on the internet who rages, right? No, but. Mm. You do rage kind of a lot. I'm thinking of taking anger management. Because I don't deal with my anger very, very well. My overreaching message? Tough. If you also don't want to die, you can't do all the other things you want. And what gets me? Okay. When I was doing my A-levels at school, we went to London to visit some art galleries. And I think it was in the Hayward in, uh, in London, the Museum of Modern Art. I think it was the Hayward, I might have the name wrong. There was a display, an, exhi um, an exhibit, that had two TV screens. And on one screen, it had a man in a suit jumping up and down, going quack, 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 quack. And on the other side, on a TV screen facing it, it had a jester jumping up and down, going, no, 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 no. And it was essentially illustrating how both of those things took the same amount of effort. And I think about that when I look at her, when I look at her videos, when I look at how hard she works to wriggle out of the things she actually needs to do. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you.